Hello, everybody! Hi, hi, hi! Welcome, welcome! My name is Cassian Floros. I am from uh, First Stage Production. Wait, I am from First Stage Productions First Generation Avalum! Hi, welcome! How's it going, everybody? Yes, it's me, Cassian Floros, aka Albert Elfman, El aka uh, Cass, uh, um, Cassie, whatever you want to call me, that's me. Yeah, hi. You can also call me yours. <laughs> hi, everybody. How's it going? How was your day? And, um, I hope you all had a very nice Chinese New Year. Tell me if you, um, if you celebrated it. Hey, Stid, thank you so much for the super. I can't hang around for this stream, sadly, but ho hope everyone, uh, everyone has fun. Oh, uh, Everyone has fun. I'll watch the VOD later though, Lamau. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. It's okay. Uh, you know, I appreciate the ones live, but I also appreciate the ones watching the VODs a lot. Because I know that's uh, a big part of you, actually. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate that I can't, like, stream at a universal time for everybody. Um, but yeah, I, I'm trying my best to, like, balance it out as as much as I can. Yeah, I hope you all had a really nice Lunar New Year. And I hope you got uh, a lot of the, um, Hongbao, well, right? The, the red pouches? <laughs> if you, if you celebrated it, of course. Yeah. Um, so guys, today we'll be playing Little Guardsman. It's, like I said, it's a, um, game where you are a guardsman. And you decide whether a person gets into the kingdom or not by interrogating them. And you can, like, you know, ask them several questions. You can ask their purpose. Um, you can have, like, different items to use on them. And, yeah, but you gotta be careful. You don't have, uh, like, unlimited amounts of uh, usages on the items. And uh, you also, you know, have to be very careful because uh, some of them might lie and you have to sniff out the truth. And, um, you know, depending on who you let into the kingdom, uh, the story changes. So, yeah. We, we're gonna have a lot of fun. This is a really nice indie game that I um, found just recently. And um, the creator was actually very, uh, very, very nice. And they sent me a Steam key for their game which saved some money thank you very much if you're watching right now thank you very very much i really appreciate it yeah it sounds like papers please it is similar to papers please although it's different um because in papers please it doesn't really matter it not like it does matter a little bit but not that much um like who you let in and who you doesn't don't let in um so yeah, it's a little different. I, I think it's a better take on this genre, a little uh, actually. So yeah, uh, let me just open the game real quick so we can start. Yeah, thank you, devs. Very nice of you. Papers, please is a, a bit a bit dark. Yes, papers, please is really dark. Uh, little guardsman is really um cute you'll see let me just move to this screen and uh sorry i gotta capture the window so does that work yes it works okay i hope i'm not covering too much of the screen uh let me know if it's a little too loud or not i'm still adjusting a little bit um, but yeah, family-friendly papers, please. Yes. <laughs> but you know, I actually like this a little bit more than papers, please. Hmm. But it's like a similar concept, I'd say. So, uh, let's just go with slot A. Start right in. Oh, please, a uh, level select. Wait, level select? Oh, okay. Oh, there, wow. There are many levels. You know, I only watched some clips of this, so, uh, it, I'm half blind, going half blind into this game. Yeah. I only saw, like, the beginning clips and all, 
And yeah, uh, oh shit, I didn't want to click the credits. But I guess, yeah. <laughs> Let me, can I press escape? Oh, I can skip it. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. My bad, my bad. Let's just hop right into the game. Yeah, new game. <laughs> and so it came to pass that the day was to be saved by the most unlikeliest of heroes. A small child unwillingly thrust into the workforce. One disaster after That's another has been diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision making. Yay! On the verge of knowing everlasting peace and prosperity, our hero could finally rest their weary head. But only after one more critical decision was to be made. A decision of great weight. A decision of immense importance. A decision that could possibly kill hundreds, even thousands of people. Oh, oh my god, you've made the wrong choice. <gasps> you didn't think things through. You've doomed us all. Everything's on fire now. We're all oh. covered in fire. How could you have done this to us? Oh god! I'm sorry, my bad! The voice acting is so good in this, and like, it's fully voiced over too. Oh. Lil! What? Oh, Dad, I was... Oh, I must have been having a nightmare. Oh, did I have to click? Oh, okay. It's over now, sweetie. But since you're awake... I think it's time you and I had the talk. Ooh, the talk. What might that be? Out of one nightmare and into another. Sweetie, there comes a time in every young person's life. Well, Dad, you don't have to do this. By the way, we're, we're a girl. Yeah, that's a girl. Hmm. When they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while he places a bet on the goblin ball match down at the pub. Aw, oh, Dad, do I have to? <laughs> Today was the day I was going to start off on a grand adventure with my friends. I want to sail the open sea. I want to fight ogres. I... I want to throw rocks at things. <laughs> you think I didn't want to throw rocks at things when I was your age? But I had a duty. I had a responsibility. Yes, our duty. I had to work at the guard shed while my dad placed the bet at the goblin ball match down at the pub. <laughs> did he ever win anything? Do you think we'd be stuck here if he did? True. <laughs> Guys, remember, don't gamble. I mean, the only exception is gotcha games. Uh, that's alright. Hmm. Yeah, guys, believe. Gotcha games are alright. But I'm 12. Won't we get in trouble? <laughs> the artworks are so cute. <laughs> Not if we don't get caught. Come on, I'll show you how to handle anything that comes up. Okay. Okie dokie, ready for me to very quickly show you how everything works? Yes, sir. Oh, good. Everyone loves a tutorial. Yes, we do. <laughs> No time for a full rundown, so I'll sum it up like this. The key thing to remember when being a castle guardsman is... Dad, someone's coming. What do we do? No. Uh, okay. Guess the best way to learn is by doing. Let's just hope there's someone completely plain and boring. Okay. <laughs> ah, good morning, Mrs. Abernathy. How's your day? Mrs. Abernathy. Plain and boring, as always. Oh, Marie, thank you so much for the super. Kai Cass, I won't be able to watch the stream live today, but I'll definitely catch the VOD. Hope you have fun play, uh, fun time playing the game. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a fun day. Hmm. Plain and boring, as always. Bingo. Would you mind if Lil looks after you? Oh, not at all. It's always a pleasure to see your daughter, Shamish. It's Hamish. It's Hamish. <laughs> Our dad's name is Hamish. What is? Never mind. Now, Lil, when a visitor approaches the guard shed, they'll generally start by stating their business. She is sus? 
It's just an old lady. Plain and boring. But she's nice. I'd like to state my business. I bring a basket of baked goods to my son and his family once Aww. a Oh, would you like one? Yes, please. <gasps> wow. Oh my god. I didn't think she would actually give us something. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Thanks. We might need this After later. They state their business, it's pretty much your call what to do next. You can select them and interrogate them. There's tools, the phone there on the wall. You only get three action points. You get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Not really. What do we need tools for? You can <clears> pick <throat> one and it does something. Come Took on, the bribe. Really got to speed this along. The goblin ball <laughs> kind of, a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm inconveniencing you? Oh, no, not at all, dear. I don't mind helping out. But the princess is really gigging the ceremonial for slingshot. <gasps> she is sweet jumping jitters. With sweet jumping game. jitters. <laughs> Seamus, tell the girl what to do. The name is Hamish. <laughs> no, it's Mrs. Abernathy. Yeah, get it right, Hamish. <laughs> I mean, Seamus. <laughs> Select any highlighted element to learn about it. Okay, Mrs. Abernathy. I already told you, selecting the person means you interrogate them and hear more of their story. It's the best way to find out someone's true intentions. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> not most of the times, not not always. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes using a tool will do the job better, or the phone, or it's a combination of things. I don't know, you can spend all three action points just interrogating them for all I care. Okay. Uh, a rack. Didn't we cover this? That's well, my bad. inventory bag where you keep the things people give you or that you confiscate from them. In other words, your sweet, sweet loot. Ooh, sweet, sweet loot. Looking in your bag for something to use doesn't cost you an action point. Okay. Uh, phone? Phone? Feeling stuck? This phone is for calling the royal advisors and asking for their help. But all they'll really give you is their opinion. Hmm, okay. You can get a hold of Lieutenant Stryker, Captain of the Guards, and technically our boss. Lieutenant Stryker. Hello, who's there? Okay. Or First Councilwoman Ash, the head bureaucrat of the Sprawl, with a real mind for politics. First Councilwoman Ash. This is Councilwoman Ash. Hello. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello buddy. <laughs> okay. And finally... The Royal Jester Malcolm, chaos personified in human form. The Royal Jester Malcolm. Hello, you've reached Malcolm. Please leave a message after the goose honk. Hey, where'd Arr. the goose go? Well, chase after it, for goodness sake. <laughs> How's he gonna help us, though? I feel like he's just gonna troll us. Each call costs an action point. Okay. Uh, what else? We have... Best thing. You use the Wicked 3000 to make the big decision to let someone in. Wicked! Or send them packing. <laughs> okay. Choosing okay, okay. this will end the tutorial. Can I finally get out of here? What? No! No, there's more! There's this. Our Kiara, thank you so you much for the tool, super! Make sure it has Wait. A crystal to charge let him talk here, first. I'll show you. Okay. Uh... Um, so glad I could finally catch the live stream again. Excited seeing you play this game. It's a nice game. Yes, I think so too. Thank you so much for the super. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we have different tools. I'll add today's crystals to the tools that don't have any. That way I have a well-rounded arsenal. Okay. Why did the other tools already have crystals in them? I carry them over from previous days. Any other questions? Mm, no. Why does a bullwhip need to be powered by crystals? That's a good question, actually. <laughs> no more questions. No more questions. Okay, what do we have here, actually? I want to see. So we have a decoder ring. We have a metal detector, a bullwhip, an x-ray, and a truth spray. So I assume I use this if I suspect them lying. I use x-ray to see if they're holding anything suspicious i don't know what the bullwhip does uh metal detector okay to see if they have any like weapons and the decoder ring i'm not sure what you it can does use this decoder ring to decode things 
Okay, thank you so much. That really helped me. I'm not exactly sure how it works. The instructions were written in some kind of code. <laughs> oh, ironic. Okay, we can actually like see everything. It's a metal here. detector. You figure it out. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Copyright strike. Hello, stop. No humming. Yeah, no humming. <laughs> This x-ray scanner can see through most types of clothing, flesh, and bone. It uses low-grade radiation. Do not use on trolls. Do not use on trolls. Okay. Truth spray. You spray it, and they tell the truth. Honestly, that's what it does. Okay. Good. Perfect. Thank you. And lastly, we have the billboard. Oh. Royal Writ. This is the Royal Writ. The first thing you do when, do when you start your shift is take a look. Okay, what does it say? Oh, uh, it's got a lot of inf of the information you'll need to do your job. You can select the Royal Writ anytime and it won't cost you any action points. If the Castle Guard Corp can achieve a good star rating this month, there will be a pizza party at the barracks. Note, strict one slice limit per guardsman. From the desk council count, from the desk of Councilwoman Ash, there will be a demonstration in the city square this evening held by members of the Magic uh, Major's Guild. If any of the speakers come through your gate, please call my office to initiate their escort and secondary screening. Congratulations to Guardsman Randy on 35 years at his post. After a six-month uh, undercover operation at the Sprawl Cavern. For the elderly, a group of sweet Grammys and Grampies were discovered to be trafficking illegal drugs into, into and out of the city. While not every old person is to be treated as a drug mule, please be vigilant, uh, vigilant <laughs> when dealing with somebody's grandparent. Striker. So that's the uh, guard, the the the, the royal, uh, the guard's captain, right? The pressed joker seeks funny uh, seeks person with funny name. If you call and pique my interest, there's a cash bonus in it for you. Malcolm. Okay. All right, Granny Sus. I don't know. I, I think that's you use the all right. 3000 to make the big decision to let someone in. Or oh, okay. Yes. Now you can choose to use the wicked some I know, I yeah. know. And sometimes people are in a really big hurry, like oh. I am right now. So just pick a damn lever already. Okay. Let's let's just let the granny Grammy in, okay? I think she was uh pretty alright. Let her in. Great job, Lil. Your mother would be so proud to Cause see she's a regular. Family. She's a regular. That's why I could let her let I'm her in. To watch the big game. Got my grandson's inheritance riding on a tip that the staple oh. snug horns are gonna win it today. <laughs> Here's a tip never lend Mrs. Abernathy money to bet with. <laughs> Let's hurry along to the game. We don't want to be late, do we, Hamish? <laughs> my name is Shamish. No, wait, it's not. Oh, no. <laughs> I better go. Time to put on your big kid pants. You can do this. Okay. More like I'm being forced to do this. I know, I know. It's only for today, I swear. Come meet me in the tavern when the shift is over. That is Good cap. Luck. That is not only for today. Good luck with your illegal gambling. <laughs> I don't need luck. You do. Believe me, he does. <laughs> how do you, how do both of these guys... Look, look at this. She bets on one team. He bets on the other. He believes she's wrong. She believes he's wrong. So which team is gonna win? <laughs> it's not like there are many teams, okay, right? Mom, you got this. Yay! Perfect score. Thank you so much. Toss a coin. Okay, uh, we already read this. So once again, uh, so the mages, any mage that is like a representative we can let in or like we should ask the uh, councilwoman first uh next up we are asking about the elderly people for uh for the the drugs we ask striker so the uh commander and then if anyone has a funny name we can call malcolm so we get a cash bonus yeah 
All right, let's see. Hi. Charmed to make your acquaintance, young Gateminder. I am Tyronius Athanatos. Tyronius Athanatos. Is Tyronius Athanatos a funny name? I don't know. <laughs> I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight, hosted oh. by the Mages Guild. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I gotta call uh, Ash, right, for this. Will you require anything further? I don't. So I will call Ash. I'm so glad you called. Frankly, I was worried you guardsmen never followed the writ due to illiteracy. Hey! Admit the mage and my people will escort him to the venue. Okay, if you say so. Though, I think I'll still call uh, Malcolm because I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> A lecturer? Snore? Where do you get these people? Get rid of him! Man, I thought it was funny! Come on! Okay, alright, alright, alright. Um, I mean, we have more action points. We can, like... I don't want to use these, because these are... These are only, like, one-time use, so, uh... I guess I'll just let you in. I, I've... I mean, Ash said it's alright, so I'll let you in. Okay. The House of Thanatos and indeed the entire Mages Guild, thank you, young guardian. You will go far. Oh, thank you. Hey, he's nice. He looks a little dark, but uh, he's nice. Wait, he's an elf, right? Is, is he an elf? He looks like an elf. Hey, brother. <laughs> we let him pass. He's pretty, let him in. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, next person, please! Good afternoon. I am here to pick up my two kids from the no-good, stingy, low-life of a father who happens to be my lying, cheating, low-life of an ex-husband, Orlando. What a fine lady. His address is there on this incomprehensible, illegible letter my kids sent me. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> What? I couldn't even read it! I would love to have him get off his sorry butt and bring them to me for once. She sounds like a... <laughs> it sounded like pretty believable. Uh, let me ask you once again. It was his week with them. No, I'm sorry. It was his and his new girlfriend Callie's week with them. <laughs> she sounds so petty. <laughs> it's pretty believable. <laughs> say about her? They say she's fun. <laughs> I'm sure the letter they wrote is all about her. Can't decode it to save my life, though. My kid's writing is so lousy. <laughs> writing is lousy. Um, I mean, I trust her. That's pretty believable. That was pretty much illegible. <laughs> See what I mean? Horrible, horrible penmanship. <laughs> Wait, actually, oh, I remember, uh, we can, I think we can use the decoder ring, maybe, to, um, decode the, the letter. Yeah, you take a closer look at Denise's letter. <clears throat> yes, it worked, I think. <gasps> I don't know how to tell you this, but there's more to this letter than meets the eye. There's a hidden message written here. Okay. It says, come son, mommy, Kelly is nightmare. Does that make sense to you? <gasps> oh my God, my boys don't know how to spell. <laughs> so that thing about Kelly being the worst. <laughs> yeah, go get her. I'll let you in. You're fine, I'll let you in. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Polyphemus Orlando Jr. Good luck. <laughs> Jesus. Go in. <laughs> yeah. Good use of the decoder ring, guardsman. <laughs> you didn't judge a book by its cover, and you knew not to stand in the way of a mama bear and her cubs. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. What in the blood? 
See, blasted hell is the hold up. Why have we stopped? Well, whoa, calm, calm down. Well, sir, the guard. <gasps> Speak when spoken to, or you'll get the whip. Well, my face is Lil's face right now. <gasps> yes, How sir. dare you! Now, you child, let me pass. I have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. B.S. waits for no man. B.S. Bullf. <laughs> B.S. Bank of the sprawl. Bank of the sprawl. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um. Well, let me ask your business. What kind of business do you have at the bank today, sir? I shan't be airing the details of my BS appointment with some nosy little brat tending the Oh, gate. okay. Mind your business or you'll get the whip, child. Oh, oh, is that right? He shouldn't threaten to whip people. Actually, that reminds a little of her toolkit. Oh, okay. Uh, let's, let's, um, tease him a little bit. Oh, yes. We mustn't keep you from your ever so important meeting. <laughs> <laughs> BS is right. Okay, hey. I think we got something very nice here. Uh, what do you say? What do you say, guys, huh? What do you say? His whip is rated E for everyone, and my whip is rated um H for him. <laughs> yeah! Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just slouching only for a second. I'll make sure that none of the blood what? gold falls out of its case. I didn't want to whip him. You nincompoop. It wasn't me using the whip. If it was, believe me, you'd feel it. Wait, blood gold? Wait a second. Did he say blood gold? Isn't that illegal? Um... He didn't say blood gold, he said bloody gold. It's a form of slang he must have picked up from somewhere. Isn't that right, you bloody idiot? Ooh. Yes, sir. W whatever you say, sir. Ooh. I'd like to take a closer look at those gold bars. Yeah, let me let me see those. Oh, I can I can confiscate. <laughs> guys, guys. <laughs> Those gold bars look pretty nice. Just saying. <laughs> Confiscate! I think I need to hold on to these. <laughs> Why, you greedy little urchin. I think I like you more than ever. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Oh, of course. Just remember, if you make any form of profit off of those, you're as much to blame as I am. Huh? Well, that was really suspicious now. Oh my god, we really got now, those. <laughs> since you are finished rifling through my personal belongings, you insufferable petty little monster. Yo. Calm down. I think I'm gonna call Striker. Hello, Striker. On the lookout for mules, bringing it into the sprawl for years now. Oh. Deny this man immediately. Well spotted, guardsman. You are a credit to the force. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, and off you go. Goodbye. Oh, she's hot. No, don't even start that again. Don't even. <laughs> No, no, no. What about this? Let me through. I mean, I, I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm saying don't start it. <laughs> but sir, the gold. Also, she complimented me, not you guys. <laughs> Silence. Oh, all right, you rotten little girl. I'll go, but you will rue the day you crossed me. Well, freak you. Leave. Immediately. Yeah, that's right. You foiled a blood gold trafficker on your first day? Legend. Oh, the phone's ringing. Hello? Good afternoon. This is 
Dr. Marquess, Beatrix von Matterhorn calling. Who okay. Am I speaking to? Hello, Dr. Marquess Be Beatrix von Matterhorn. <laughs> Jesus. This is Lil. Hi, I'm Lil. Nice to meet you, Lil. I need one of you gate guards to come down to the dig site as soon as you can. Okay. Okay, and where exactly is... Jen oh. <laughs> Where's the dig site? She hung up. <laughs> this is caller Maddie. All right. Why, hello there. I have come to the sprawl to participate in capitalism. <laughs> that's so. <laughs> that's so direct. Holy shit! <laughs> After years on the road as a traveling merchant, I'm finally ready to put down roots. And what better place than the sprawling metropolis of the sprawl? Okay. <laughs> I just got that. Garby Bunches is the name. Garby Bunches. Garby Bunches? <laughs> Funny name. But that's gotta be made up. I'm gonna have to see some documentation. Oh, funny name. Funny name, guys. Funny name. Can't fault you for doing your due diligence. Here's my vendor's license issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade. Vendor's license is issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade. Okay. I mean, it has the certificate, uh, the, 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 the thing, I mean, the label. Um, I, I can't really go into detail on this, I guess, but uh, you can have it back. I guess He's I don't right. need it. Everything is in order. Okay. All right, if you say so. Um, well, wait, let me read the board again. What does it say? Um... Okay. Uh, I don't know. We use a tool. I don't think so. But uh, let me call Malcolm. Let me call Malcolm. His legs. Hey. He just, you know, <laughs> skips leg day sometimes. But that's all right. Let's call Malcolm. Garby bunches. Where have I heard that name before? Wait a minute. Ask him if he's descended from Garbanzo the Terrible. <laughs> Are you related to Garbanzo the Terrible? Yep. My great 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 grandpappy Garbanzo. <laughs> OMG, tell him I'm a huge fan. I've got so many questions. Like, why did he use an ice cream scoop? How did he dispose of all that mess? What? <laughs> this isn't helpful. Okay. You're not helpful. Whoa! Did I get extra money though? Wait, is that the extra money that I got? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, we got more points though. I don't think I want to use an item on him. But I want to call Ash. He might be knowledgeable about him. This is far below my pay grade. But give me a moment to confirm his vendor's license. Oh, okay. Are you still there? Oh, yes. Garby Bunches. I've got him right here on the list. He may enter. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Okay. If you say so, Ash. Admit. Okay. Can you smell that? What? The trash barge? Yeah, it comes through on the weekends. The smell only lingers for a couple of days. <laughs> Not the reek of filth and decay. That's the reek of opportunity. See you around. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Capitalism. <laughs> Who would have known that a funny name would lead to connecting uh, Jester Malcolm to one of his historical heroes? Good job. Thank you. <laughs> The humor is so good in this game. I, I love it. <laughs> no more folks. Time to close up shop. Okay. Oh, we're missing something. Due to your excellent job per performance, 3.8 stars, you were paid 30 gold for this shift. Thank you. You nailed that tutorial, good job! You read the red and followed the order. 
Good little guardsman. Wait, but why is it only, uh... Why is it only this? Why, why, why is it not four stars? I was perfect on the other ones, but, uh... Okay, I guess. <clears throat> uh, wait. What? Oh, dig side. Okay, let's go. We're meeting Maddie. Didn't get the secret goal? There's a secret goal? Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe I should have used like the metal detector or like the, the x-ray. I don't know. Uh, do I have to click? Oh, shit. Oh, I can click everything here. Wait, that's so cool. Okay, let's see. What is this? Ammonia, hydrogen, load in, uh, all pre pretty basic stuff. Okay. Machines like this are a re relatively new discovery in the sprawl. Lowell notices the word commander keen among the inscrutable technical jargon. Maddie? Oh, what is this? Can I go there? You see a small cod and a pile of clothes uh, through. Through the gap. Dr. Bia must sleep there. Hello. Oh my, were you left behind? The last group of school children departed hours ago. Feel free to wait in the wait. lost and found box until someone comes to collect. It's you. not loading, it's what? Iod iodine? I iodine? I bro, I don't know. I'm not good at chemistry. Let me <laughs> just I I don't know! How do you pronounce that? Don't! <laughs> I, I thought it's an L! Yodin? Iodin? Bro, just, uh, whatever. Just let me be. <laughs> no, you called me. I'm Lil. We spoke on the phone. I was covering the Iodine? Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, of course, Lil, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do for the sake of time. <sighs> sake of time. <laughs> do you get it? I get it. No. Okay, no, I, I don't get it. Trust me, you will. Who are you? What is this place? Uh, who are you? Who are you again? Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn, head of archaeological research at the Royal Academy. Archaeological research at the Royal Academy. Okay. But you can call me B. B. Okay. That's B. Gotcha. And what's so great about this place? Oh. Tadane, thank you so much for the Goblin Ball funds for Lil. Thank you very, very much for the super. I really appreciate it. Would you like the long or short version? Uh, sure. Tell me about Maybe it. with some of that sweet exposition, baby. This place is known as the dig site. Dig site. How creative. <laughs> we stand at the site upon which power crystals were first discovered. Power crystals? The power crystals that I use for the tools in the guard shed? Those and every other technological marvel of our lifetimes. Okay. Um... What's this got to do with me? I am the preeminent expert in the advanced properties of power crystals, and my research suggests we have barely scratched the surface of what these puppies can do. Ooh. Okay, but again, what does this have to do with me? Lil, I have found how to harness the crystal's power to alter the very fabric of time. May I present the alter chronometer the fabric 3000. of time? Chronometer 3000. And what I need to know from you is, do you know anyone who would be willing to go on what some might call an adventure? Me! 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 Oh, me! Me, me, me! Oh, wait, we could have pushed I the button. I go on an adventure. <laughs> Wonderful. But before you go off and start pushing buttons willy-nilly, let me explain how I came across this incredible new discovery. Or more exposition, as you might say. Okay. You see, by transmuting the crystal's more raw and ethereal properties and tethering it to a gnomus astrolab, they can produce temporal anomalies. Oh. <laughs> Should we push the button? <laughs> we could push the button and skip her. 
Or we can just not. <laughs> kind of want to push the button. <laughs> Those earrings are so pretty. Oh yeah, they are pretty. Oh, they look like little atoms. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I see. Okay, we're pushing. Ah. What happened? Oh. Oh. What happened? No. Did we go back? Wait, what? Where am I? No freaking way. What happened? Did we go back or did we go forward? Pick up the phone. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Marquess, Beatrix von Matterhorn calling. Who may I ask? Am I speaking? No, we, we went back. This is Lil. Nice to meet you, Lil. I need one of you gate guards to come down to the dig site as soon as you can. What's going on? Don't you remember? I... <laughs> she hung up again. We shouldn't have pressed it. Oh. Oh, we just going down. Wait, never mind. Hi. Why, hello there. I've come to the sprawl to participate in capitalism. After okay. On the road as a... Let me stop you there. Your name is Gabby Blanchers, right? You're a traveling merchant or no, something? No, it's Gabby... Gabby... Isn't it Gabby... Bart... Bark or something? Oh, I see my reputation precedes me. Kind of. The name is Garby Bunches. Ah, oh, Garby Bunches. This is so weird. I swear I already dealt with this guy. I can either do the same thing as I did last time, or maybe this is a chance to try something different. I mean, we did it perfectly I'm last sorry. time, Are right? We had forced to. That's what I'm trying to decide, Garbs. Regardless, here's my vendor license issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade for confirmation. Thank you. It's all right. You can have it He's back. Right. You Everything are good. Is in order. <laughs> Slap him and let him in. <laughs> and get my butt back to the dig site. Okay. So, uh, let's just admit you. You're alright. You're a good guy, Gabby. Gabby. Um. Barges? Garby Bunches. <laughs> I remember pulling the lever. Yes, Can you yes. Smell that? I think then you said something about opportunity. You got it. <laughs> around. Opportunity. All right. I need to get back to the dig site to figure out what just happened. Okay, let's just go back. Okay, this time we're just nodding. We're not pressing any buttons. We lost the money. Uh. <gasps> oh. Do we lose the money? No way! That's so unfair if we did. I mean, it would make sense, but... I didn't have any choice. Like, it forced me to press... Like, to uh, pull a leather... A lever. Leather. <laughs> Let me see this. This... Uh, the hole is so deep, you can't see the bottom. They must have a really good ladder guy. Yeah. Alright, speaking to you again. Oh my, were you left behind? The last group of school children departed hours ago. Feel free to wait in the lost and found box until someone comes to collect you. Hey. I need you to listen to me. Something very strange is going on. My name is Lil. Don't you remember me? Oh, Lil from the phone call earlier, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do for the sake of time. Huh, sake of time. Do you get it? Haha. <laughs> I already told you no. Oh, wait, I actually do. My name is Dr. Marquess Beatrix <laughs> von Matterhorn, head of archaeological... Logical research at the Royalty School for Smart People. You said I can call you Trixie. We've been Trixie? Before. <laughs> it's B. I'd prefer if you called me B. <laughs> and this is the site where power crystals were first discovered and you used them to make a time machine. Then, you baited me with promises of adventure and pretty much forced me to push the big shiny button on your silly little time machine and now, I'm pretty sure I'm just traveled back through time and I'm kind of freaking out here! <laughs> Any questions? Calm down, Lil. Uh, magic mushrooms going crazy? Time travel? 
Time travel. Wait, why am I asking you questions? For any of this to be possible, it would require the use of my newly crafted device. May I present the Chronometer 3000? Yeah, yeah, Chronometer 3000. Wait, where did it go? Do you mean this? Yeah. My invention! How did you get that? You gave it to me. Well, not really, but you were gonna give it to me, I think. You were in the middle of explaining. <laughs> and you were seduced by the glowing red button. Yes, of course! Can you blame me? Yeah, can you blame me? Yes, but it is a good button. I'm just proud of myself that your particles weren't immediately dispersed to the furthest reaches of space and time. <laughs> yeah, lucky. That risk becomes much lower <laughs> once I configure it to your individual life source, which I will do now. Thank you. At any rate, I think the castle gate is a perfect place to test my prototype, and I need a willing gate guard to use the device. Okay. And allow me to track their progress to make sure only the right people are permitted entry to the sprawl. Do you have any questions? Nope, don't think so. Let's go. I think I get the idea, Dr. B. I'm ready to go out in the world and use this device properly. And definitely not to win the lottery or to repeatedly watch people trip and fall over and over. <laughs> You'd want that? Yes, lottery. That money, <laughs> I could pay people to trip and fall over and over again. <laughs> Look at that smile. Look at that smile. Regardless, you'll find you can't use it whenever or wherever you want. It is now calibrated, so it will only allow you to fold space and time when you are inside the guard shed. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Furthermore, no lottery. by default, the device will automatically allow you to travel back to the start of your guard shift, including your loadout. Oh, that's good. However, I hacked it a bit so that you can jump back to a specific point in the turn. Hack is the key word, though. I have to leave now. There is more science to be done. Is it really a hack soon. if you we'll made the device? You might be ready for. Thank you, Lil. It'd be more Thanks. of a modification, I guess. No pressure. You can do this. Just try not to break space and time. No, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh. Maybe I should have mentioned I was only working the gate for one day. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting pretty late. I should head home. Yeah, guys, we're only working there for one day. Stream's over. Thank you guys for watching for uh, today's stream. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Stay. <laughs> Tavern home. Oh, that seems like a nice place. Can I talk to you? Can I get some waffles? Your dad's over there. Oh, thank you. My dad. Oh, what is this? Twisted Sisters. Legend has it that this neon sign was made by a company that makes custom neon signs. Legends? Has it? Wait, can I talk to the other one? To that one? I can't. Okay. In that case, let's go to my dad. Hi, dad. Hello? Wait. I just accidentally started a recording. <laughs> let's see. Okay. <clears throat> ah. Oh, bottles. Wait. Bottles. That's where they keep the good stuff. Arda will only open a bottle for people she knows will pay their tap. You remember this working when you were a little pretty great what You remember this working when you were a little pretty great collection of tunes. Oh, when you were little. Pretty great co collection of tunes. I, I I don't know, I'm just illiterate. Your dad always says if you ever save enough money, you could chip in to get her fixed. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's look at this. This ain't the nicest place in town, but there's always a warm fire going. Hey. Hey, 
hey, there she is, my hardworking angel face, sweetest of the sweetest daughter of mine. You didn't win your gambling, did you? <laughs> he lost. No, but it wasn't my fault. The other team was just too good. But I didn't lose all my money. We still have left what I didn't bet. So <laughs> thanks. Thanks, man. <laughs> That'll be 15 gold for the ale. <laughs> and now we don't have any left. Hey, wait, hey, I, I earned you 40. Take any bribes or pickpocket anyone today? Yes. Uh, do we give him the money? Do we give him the gold bars? Or not? I feel kind of bad. I mean, he's not a bad dad. He just likes gambling. I No, you don't. Is this our mom? I don't think so. I don't think she would charge us money if, if that was our mom. This is like just the tavern earner. No, we don't give it. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. sorry. Nothing today. Nothing today. Oh, rats. Yeah. Rats? Again? I mean, we don't have rats, I swear. <laughs> no, not like that. Uh, oh, well. <clears throat> He's gonna bet it? Go oh, okay. Anyways. See if he'll front me the money to bet with. Okay. Wait, you'll never believe what happened. Right at the end of my shift, I got this phone call, okay? Asking me to come down to the dig site. Did you remember to lock up the shed? What? Yes. Yeah. And turn off the light? Yes, I did. Yeah. Whatever, just listen. You gotta make sure to turn off the light, Lil. They'll charge us for the overnight usage. Yeah. I remember to turn off the light. Oh my god. That's such a parent. Oh my god. Anyways, Dad, I met this professor at the dig site, and she had this time machine, and when I touched the time machine, I went back in time. Damn. She gave me the time machine to use when I worked the guard shed for you, but it only works at the guard shed, so that was kind of a bummer. But it's super cool, and it only works for me. That's great, <laughs> sweetie. I'm glad you liked covering for me today. But you don't have to make up stories just so you can work another shift. I'm not making Wait, it no, up. That's not what's happening. I oh, my God. Anytime you want to be just like daddy and work down at the guard shed, all you need to do is ask. Okay. Dad, you're not fully comprehending what I'm trying to tell you. Hey, Arda, did you hear? Lil's making up cute stories so she can be more like her old man. Okay. Oh, that's so sweet. Slap him? What the hell? I have the power to manipulate time and I demand to be taken seriously. <laughs> okay, 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 I understand. I can see that you're serious. Seriously adorable. <laughs> honestly, Lil, you can cover for me anytime you like. You're probably doing a better job than me anyways. This yeah, I am. I expected it to go. Speaking of that, I better call my guy and make a bet on the next game. No. It's getting late. Don't. Get upstairs to bed, Missy. Good night, Lil. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, good night, Dad. Good night, Dad. Maybe someday you'll believe me. Good luck with your gambling. Yeah, good luck. I would like to have some, like, you know, food on the table sometimes. <laughs> I don't need luck. You do. You do need luck. Let's just go up to our, uh, our little room. Oh my god, look at the little guy! Look at the little guy! You see this? <laughs> Alright, let's just Poop. go up and sleep. I'm pooped. Another I'm pooped. For one day. <laughs> I'm ready to hit the sack. Don't worry, I'm also pooped. No talk with mom? I don't think we have a mom. Or at least she's not mentioned so far. <laughs> she walked into two more tutorials. <laughs> Tyronius Athanatos. Gave his keynote speech at the Festival of uh, Magical Freedoms and inspired most of in the crowd. The divide between magical and non-magical beings grew a little more that night. He is indebted to Councilwoman Ash for her influence in facil facilitating his smooth admittance to the sprawl. After Denise picked up her kids, she moved them safely of, uh, out of view, but not earshot, and gave Kelly a piece of her mind. Polyphemus and Orlando Jr. learned a handful of new words that day, but some they already knew. 
due to your cunning confiscation uh, and denying the old coot, Grumpkin T. Dankworth was unable to make his sizable deposit of illegal blood gold to be a spank of the sprawl. Unfortunately, it happened on the same day of an unprece unprecedented volume of cash withdrawals. This caused the bank to run and close early. People panicked. They burned the bank to the ground. Mr. Tankworth refused to donate money to have it rebuilt. Oh. Well. Uh. We just, uh. Killed a bank. <laughs> Garby Bunches. Garby Bunches found a vacant plot of land in the alley behind the Twisted Sisters Tavern and set up his Emporium of Wonders. Yippee! Level 2. Good morning! You're listening to The Morning Crawl, the number one morning show in the sprawl. I'm your host, Dodger, joined as always by my co-host, The Ham, who I will remind you is a live pig. What? <laughs> Let's jump right in and get your morning started and muse over the news. Today in the headlines... It was just announced that the heir to the throne, Princess Desdemona, has come of age and will be taking a suitor. Me, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, I don't think Desdemona wants a pig as a husband, the hell. <laughs> but then again, neither did my ex-wife, the hell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, With yeah. multiple suitors making their way into the city, <laughs> expect backups and delays across all major routes this morning. I can turn now, off the radio. Let's... Okay, okay, turn it off. <laughs> I liked it better when it was Dodger and the Cluck, but I guess it was too hard to keep training that chicken. Yep, I guess so. One-eyed heart. <laughs> An angsty band for tweens and tweens at heart. Um, anything else? A radio. A sign. That's the official crest of the Sprawl and the Royal Family. Okay. What is a this? Note? A note? Dear Little, uh, Dear Lil, please come down to the guard shed as soon as you can. Love, Dad. Maybe he wants me to work a shift for him again. Or maybe he forgot to put on underwear and needs me to bring him a pair. <laughs> well, there's a 50-50 chance I'll get to use the chronometer 3000 today. Here's hoping. Let's go. Oh, who's and that guy? And finally, the aforementioned grading pending review will be transferable to a more viable calculation. Okay. Which is, needless to say, a more economical contrivance for evaluation. Any questions? Many questions. <laughs> oh, it's hey, my Dad, turn. I got your note. What's going on? I have no idea. What? Due to the bank of the sprawl being burned to the ground as a result of your actions, any guardsman who does not receive an above two-star rating at the end of any given shift will lose their job. What? Okay. But I need my job for gambling. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't just hear that. <laughs> you and I both know my dad has a tendency to half-ass his way through life. Tell me why he needs to whole ass it all of a sudden and strive for anything above two stars. Why, I'm glad you asked. I've been authorized to award above average job performance with cash bonuses. <gasps> money! You mean if we get more four star results, we'll make more money? Hell yeah! You're as quick as your father. Before I go, here are the allotted crystals to power your tools. Oh, thank you. Three. Okay. And with that, I'm off to tell all the other gate guards about these new rules. Well, all of them except Randy. He's been terminated. <gasps> Wait, isn't Randy the one that was working for 35 years? No way he got terminated. The T word. The forbidden T word. Not Randy. That guy's a riot. <laughs> Which is exactly what his poor judgment led to. Wish me luck. Oh no! Oh jeez. 
Randy was just three payments away from paying off his new catapult. No, Randy! Poor guy. Sounds like you need to start doing your job better. Yep. More like you need to start doing my job better. Just like you wanted to. Okay. No, that's not exactly what I meant. I, you don't just get to leave me here while you go bet on goblin ball games. <laughs> no goblin ball match today. I received a cryptic letter this morning saying they need me on palace duty. And they specifically referenced that you need to cover for me again. Oh, okay. Specifically. Looks like you're not the only one who wants you to work the gate today. All right. I mean, yeah, we did do a pretty good I job mean. at the first day. It's not all bad news. I scored these off-brand discount crystals from my bookie Fredo as a gift for being his best client. <laughs> but he mentioned that they might only work some of the time. But I like those odds. <laughs> yeah, you do, huh? Yay! Oh, Dad, you really need to talk to somebody about your gambling. You really I need love to. You too, Lil. And with that, I'm off. Remember, two stars are better, or we're out on our asses. Okay. No pressure. That's my girl. <laughs> That's my girl. Okay, the royal writ. Malcolm, rather than p repairing uh, the dungeon, which is falling apart, leading to the escape of a serial arsonist. I'm having the jail cells painted instead. Give me a call when the fellows gets here. Expect uh, the imminent arrival of two envoys vying for an alliance with the sprawl. That's two envoys, not one, not three, not but two. Four is right out. Hmm. Take this opportunity for cultural exchange and learn as much as you can. Really get them talking. Yo, yo, Clippers, I hope you're sleeping. <laughs> no, 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 you, you don't get... You can watch the VOD if you want to hear it again. <laughs> um, okay. Wait, okay, so two envoys for an alliance with the Sprawl, a serial arsonist that we have to look out for, the Duchess of Scarborough's Award, winning fe feline companion, uh, Sprankles shall be arriving in its miniature royal carriage this week. Okay. As always, treat any non-human visitors, goblin, gnome, uh, ogre, etc. with extra scrutiny. Remember, if you see something, say something, by royal decree. Okay. Okay, let's... Oh, do I have to choose which one I want to fill up? Uh, let's go with... This. What is this again? I, I, I don't think I got it. Wait, let me just... No, I didn't want to begin! Oh, shit! Oh, hey. Hello, ma'am. The name is Seamus McGoblin. I've been requested to do some work in the sprawl. <laughs> That's a nice accent you got there. Just have my supplies here with me. Nothing else to declare. Is that, um, Scottish? Or is this Irish? <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, wait, can I... Oh, shit! I didn't want to! I just wanted to read what those are. I can't even read. Oh my god. It sounds Scottish. Okay. Is he an elf? Uh, I think that's a goblin. Okay. You have paint with you. Are you like an artist? Me? An artist? No, ma'am. I have a real job. I'm a painter. I paint things like walls and doors. Okay. An artist? <laughs> oh, you're giving me a laugh. <laughs> I mean, okay, I trust you. You may laugh, but I'm sure that you're an artist at heart. <laughs> I'll have to tell Mrs. McGoblin that. <laughs> She'll never believe she's been married to an artist all these years. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I mean, uh, it says... Always treat any non-human visitors, goblins, gnomes, ogre, ogres... Uh, with extra scrutiny. Yeah. So, um... I don't know. I mean, using the metal detector is kind of... 
useless, I guess. He doesn't look like he's carrying something. Cal Malcolm? You think that's a funny name? Sure. Well, it's about time he showed up. Send him to my office, Toot Sweet, and I'll set him to work. No more doom and gloom down here in my office. Now it'll just be doom. Okay. What's that? Yes, I insist the horse get into the water. This is water polo after all. <laughs> oh, whoa. Damn. Okay. If Malcolm says so, I'll admit you. Go ahead. Many thanks. Say, before I go, do you have a favorite color? Yeah. Aha! Green! I like green, I guess. Then I shall paint whatever it is I'm painting green in your honor. Oh, thank you! Thank you again. Thank you too. Nice! Oh, shit, that was only three stars. You let him in to do his job. What do you want? A parade? <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yay, green. Hello. Who are you? Hear ye, hear ye. I have come to announce to the princess a proposal of marriage from my lord and master, Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petra. Okay. Phineas Pomp. Oh, he's... Prince Phineas, son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk. Okay. Who was daughter of King Fangil, son of Queen Amelia, daughter of King Rupert. Oh my god, I get it, Jesus! Wow, okay, I think I got it. <laughs> we got the picture! <laughs> he just gave it to us. Um, I mean, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call Ash for that. Wait, wait a second. What did it say? Um, it says two envoys. So, um, I mean, I think this is Ash's job. So let's just ask Ash. Oh, they're starting to arrive. How wonderful. This is the representative of Prince Phineas Pomp, son of King Phineas and Queen. Oh dear. What was her name again? Buttermilk. Buttermilk. Yep. None for me, thanks. Anyway, let them in. But for the love of... Don't let them in without bugle. Not until I've gotten over this dreadful hangover, at least. <laughs> okay. I have to confiscate that. That is my official Petradian greeting bugle. It is my pride and joy. And worth quite a pretty penny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my guy. But uh, Ash said that we have to confiscate it. So that is just... <gasps> Uh, Chair Bear, thank you so much. What? Thank you so much for the donation. Let me. I I I missed it. Oh my god, I have to read it again. Uh, I have to go to Streamlabs for that. Wait a second, Chair Bear. I I just saw it. I heard it in my left ear. Um. Wait. I'm on it. I'm reading. Okay. Okay. I can't join for long, but I hope uh, Cass and Dewdrops have a lovely, lovely day today. Chair Bear. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day as well, all right? You can watch the VOD anytime you want. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. So, uh, okay, where were we? <laughs> Thank you so much. We're gonna confiscate it. I think for the sanity, I mean safety, of our citizens, I better take that. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, if you must. Wait, sorry. There we go. Please be very careful with my pride and joy. I will be very careful. Don't worry about it. You can have it back when you leave. I'm not gonna sell it or anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. You can go in. You're fine. Onward to announce the eventual arrival of Prince Phineas. Oh my Pomp, God! Not again! Heir to the throne of Petrad and future husband to Princess Desdemona. Incidentally, I believe there is a representative of the Marvog Empire behind me, seeking to make a similar offer for the hand of the princess. 
Oh, Marvark Empire. Okay. If you refuse her entry, I will give you much gold tonight. I will meet you at the tavern after your shift. Remember, do not let in the Marvog delegate. Oh, we're getting bribed. <laughs> Ooh, it really depends on how much money we get. But hey, four stars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if they're like. Actually, like, more trustworthy than, uh, I'll Good let them in anyway. Child. I would like to enter this bustling metropolis with the desire to purchase a hat. I have lost my previous hat and I require a replacement. He, he, he only wants to enter for a hat? That's it? I mean... Why come all this way to buy a hat? Surely they have hats where you're from. They do, yes, but they do not match the standards of my previous hat. I was known well as one who adorned a hat of the highest caliber. I cannot go back. <laughs> he can't go back. That's like me. That's like me when I had a 60 hertz monitor. And now that I have a 144 hertz monitor, I can't go back. I really just can't go back. I mean... Look at his face, he's so goofy. <laughs> um, Do we doubt him? Do we trust him? I, I am down to trust him. But I want to see what he, how he reacts when we doubt him. Maybe you haven't looked hard enough? I promise, child. I have searched high and low for the perfect hat. This sprawl is my last hope. Okay. Um, well... I wanted to use the truth spray on him right now, but I forgot to charge it. So, um, maybe ask Malcolm. He has a nice hat. Senor Capello Fantastico has lost his hat? Then that fortune cookie was right. <laughs> Finally, there's an opening for a new fantastic hat guy in this town. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> Don't let him in. We can't oh. have him finding a new hat before I do. <laughs> What's that? Yes, I insist the horse get into the water. This is water polo after all. Again? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, but that, I think that confirms that he's really just looking for a hat. So, um... I mean, go ahead. Just, just go ahead. I guess. Get your, get your nice hat. I don't think he seemed like a bad guy. I hope you find your hat, Mister Fantastico. He just wants a hat. Thank you, child. The next time you see me, you will say to yourself, "Wow, has that guy got a fantastic new hat?" <laughs> I will, I guys. No doubt in my mind. Mr. Fantastico. Oh. Again, only three. There was something left that I could like I couldn't find out. I guess maybe I had to use the metal detector or maybe the x-ray or something. I don't know. He'd tip his hat in gratitude if he had one. <laughs> Okay, next. Oh. I come with a message for Princess Desdemona of the Sprawl from Praetor Cargan of the Marvag Empire. Ooh. She has a nice six pack. The Praetor bid me say directly to the princess. What a lovely message. Grant me access to deliver this message personally, and I shall recite the Praetor's words to the princess with honor. I mean... She's pretty. She kind of looks a little evil, though. Look at these spikes and these, uh... Um, like, screws and all. Like, bolts, I guess. I don't know. Hail, Praetor Gargan! Kapla! Kapla! Okay, wait, 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 okay. Look, let's look at them first. Okay, let's look at this guy. 
Wait, that this thing costs six dollars? Ah, okay. Guys, we have the option of declining her and getting money from uh, from that one guy. This guy. Petrard, Pompous, Preening, Prigish, Prince Phineas. Or like their um, ambassador, I guess. Or we can let her in for nothing. Um, I, I, I am not sure. Do the right thing. What is the right thing? <laughs> you should ask Ash? Okay, sure. Let's ask Ash. The mighty empire of Marvog has sent an envoy from the Praetor. This is unfolding even more splendidly than I imagined. And what an envoy. Mmm, all that leather. I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh my god, Ash is a little fruity. <laughs> I literally have not said a word. Show her in and don't interfere. Leave her just the way she is. <laughs> wow, Ash. <laughs> Let me ask you once more. I killed 19 other mighty adversaries for the honor of delivering this message to your princess. Damn! I have brought you the head of the mightiest of these for you to inspect, as is our custom. What? Um, all good. I'll trust you. I'll, oh I'll trust you on that. God. Um, thank you for the gift. This is how you know I am worthy to deliver the words of the Praetor to your princess. I I already know you're worthy. I, I can see it. I, I can I can see it. <laughs> we kept that. Oh, my God. Um, well, uh. I don't think the metal detector is going to do anything because you're wearing only metal. <laughs> so, um... Can I be the 20th? Okay, calm down. Calm down. Uh, do we really need the money? I don't even know what we're going to spend the money on, so I'll just let you in. Alright, I think I'm going to get killed if I don't let her in, so go ahead. You have honor, little one, and shall always be a friend of the Marvag. And now, to fulfill my mission to speak the Praetor's words to the princess, Kapla! Kapla! You admitted an extremely well-armed visiting dignitary. Smart. Thank you. But, um, there was something that I forgot again. Damn it. I want to get to four stars. Kapla! <laughs> Whoa there, Whoa. Lucy. Hello and salutations to you, most honorable guardian of the free peoples of the sprawl. Okay. Okay, I'm dude. I am the envoy of the gallant Sir Beverly, a knight of some minor renown, which is also me. I have received a very special invitation from Her Majesty Princess. <laughs> look at the, Mama. look at she the need. <laughs> to finding a suitor. Okay. What the hell is this? If there's nothing else, I will be off to my happily ever after. You look sus as hell. I'm gonna use the metal detector on you. I don't even care. Nothing. Hmm. What? That's weird. Isn't your armor made of metal? Ah, you got me. See, my normal chainmail and heavy armor are actually at the cleaners today. <laughs> this is my spare set. It's plastic with a very glossy paint to give it that nightly glow. Okay. Dude, that's obviously someone in the horse. I, I, oh shit, I need the X right here. Uh, I, let me call Ash. Ash, tell me about this guy. <laughs> to represent. Damn! Bother putting things on the royal writ if you refuse to read it. Oh my bad! Wow, oh, sorry. You do read it, and you simply do not have a brain. Is that it? Oh, oh whoa! Put this person in. I hope we understand each other. Lord, it's impossible to find good help these days. My bad. Damn! I just wanted to be sure. All right. Goodbye, man.
Goodbye. I understand. You are being controlled by powerful forces and simply following orders. But know this. There is no force more powerful than love. Okay, my bad. He doesn't seem like a bad guy, I guess. But... You have not seen the last of Beverly, late night custodian of the Goblin Ball Stadium. On, Lucy. On, Lucy. <laughs> okay, I followed the writ, but there's, again, something that I missed, and it was the x-ray on the horse. Okay, next person. Oh, hey, handsome guy. Hey, kid, are you Lil? I am Lil. But who's asking? Show a bit of respect. If you see her, tell her I got a mysterious letter for her. What? Mysterious, you say? Fine, you've got me. Who's it from? I'm not authorized to know. <laughs> that is mysterious. Does this mysterious letter have anything to do with the one my dad Hamish got this morning? Your dad is Hamish? What a good guy. Did you hear about Randy, though? Yeah, I did hear about Randy. Only three payments away on that catapult. Yeah, it's a real shame. Anyways, just take the note. I gotta get back to work. Okay. I'll take it. Wicked 3000? Um. Wicked 3000! Wait a minute. What are you doing? I really gotta catch up to my partner. <laughs> ah, wait. Shit, I didn't want to actually. Okay, shit. I wanted to call. <laughs> uh, let me drink some water. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, let's deny. I'm not sure. I am actually not sure. I think he's actually from the inside, no? I think he came, like, from the inside, gave me the letter and want to, wants to, like, get back. So, I mean, just go ahead. <clears throat> I think he's alright. <laughs> you had me worried there for a second. See you around, kid. Alright, see ya. Yeah, we didn't, like, uh, get a... Th w little girl, little girl stands at the gate, making choices I can't wait. If you got a taste of madness and wish to circumvent great sadness, come and meet me after dark. Together we make our stamp on the world. M. Dungeon 7, Room 4, Boulevard, Dolor. Okay. Oh, okay. Nothing weird or creepy about that. All right. I think that's Malcolm. Is it Malcolm? Where's that music coming from? What is happening? Whoa, that's loud music. Oh, what the? Good afternoon. I've traveled from afar. A simple girl who wished upon a star. What the? Inside this castle lies my fate. Perhaps I'll even get a date. <laughs> to my old Is it blood? And you are? Hello? It's Lil, and you need a good reason to be let in. But so far, I'm not optimistic. You have blood on your- Do you have any ID or anything? Yeah, show me ID. I assure you that my heart is true. Must this be a hole to do? Inside these walls, my destiny- What the hell is happening? like if you weren't singing we could move the plot along faster <laughs> you're so real for that but um i mean i can't let you in with that that looks hella suspicious I'm so so thrilled to finally be here in the sprawl the people the culture the food the hundreds of dark alleyways that could just swallow a person up what <laughs> i <laughs> Lil, at 
first you seemed so innocent, but still I have a hunger driving me The people everywhere will see My dark destiny I will fulfill No, I, oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! I, I don't even... Good dark turn. That seems like a serial killer. Ash? No, a striker? I'm asking the same thing. Who are you talking to? What are you saying to them? Are you talking about me? Behind my back? I'm right in front of you. No, it drives me crazy when people talk about me behind my back right in front of me. This is making me angry. Well, maybe let's try singing? <laughs> At times like this, what helps is this calming down. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a duet. I'm the star here. You think you're going to burn me? It's Whoa. me that's going to burn you. <laughs> oh, that's the arsonist. That's the arsonist. <gasps> I died. I died. What? I didn't even know I could die. I didn't even let her in. Oh my Whoa. god. I didn't think this was that kind of game. Me neither. Okay, let's go back. Where's that music coming from? What is happening? I'm not even gonna ask a question. You're getting get uh, gonna get denied. Afternoon, I've traveled from afar. A simple girl. But we'll listen to this again. Inside the castle, so lies my fate. Perhaps I'll even get a date. To my old life, I sing or a And you are? It's Lil, and you need him. Oh, yeah. No. I assure you that my heart is true. <laughs> Must this be a hole to do? Inside these walls, my destiny awaits. Hell no. We are gonna get denied. Goodbye. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, pfft, two stars. Um, because I died, I guess. Uh, despite this songbird's sweet serenade, you correctly uh, identified a homicidal maniac and turned her turned her away. With the right tool, there might there may have been more to find. Okay, I see. Yeah, I, I forgot to charge up the tools. I didn't know I had, like, if I leave the, this, this thing, it would instantly start the day. Uh, okay, three's all right, I guess. Uh, that's all right. You let him in to do his job. Oh yeah, I read that already. Uh, three stars represent a good score in Lil Gartman. Lil Gartman. The force of results relies on superb deduction, the perfect loadout, a bit of luck, and some combination of all three things. The results screen, like this one, will guide you towards a three-star result, but the four-star is up to you. Okay. Okay, I, we have to go here. Dungeon Room 7, Room 4, Boulevard of Dolor. I'm really enjoying this game so far. It's so funny. It's really so funny. Oh, damn. Um, a lock? Wait. Every castle needs a creepy dungeon, right? That's true. Ideal for prisoners who only have one arm. Having not seen a bathroom, you become horrified at the realization of what this bucket is for. <laughs> Room four. Is this the right place? It is. I mean, um. It is, Malcolm. Enter if you dare. 
Okay. It says room four, but it says seven on the top. You saw that? <laughs> oh shit! Whoa! What the? Okay. Hey. Oh, you dared. Hello. Welcome to my layer of chaos. Hello. It looks like a bedroom. <laughs> it is his damn bedroom. It can be two things. I'm a minimalist. <laughs> so, this is the little guardsman we've been talking about. Wait, you are, right? Yes, I am. I can't imagine why I wouldn't be. Good news, little girl. You're going to be working the gate for the foreseeable future. Ooh. What? That's not good news. Why me? I hardly have a grasp on what I'm doing, and I'm barely tall enough to see over the desk. <laughs> I see. Then you're free to go. What? Keep it together, Mal. Listen, little girl. We have eyes and ears all over the city, but the gates have always been a blind spot for me. Okay. The point is, the safety and security of the sprawl must be preserved and protected, and you might be positioned to help maintain the balance. Do you understand our meaning? Yes, I do. Back up, who are you? Duh, not quite. I mean, all of these answers are pretty bad, but I go with, like, not quite. Going forward, we want you to enact our wishes and whims when deciding who should enter and not enter the sprawl. Understand? Okay. What if I refuse? You can't make me do anything I don't want to do. I'm 12 years old. Damn it, you've got us there. <laughs> leave it up to chance. Guess which hand is holding the colored ball, and we'll forget about the whole thing. But if you guess it correctly, you agree to do our bidding no matter how nefarious or unreasonable. Sound like a deal? Okay. Do I even have a choice? Yes, you choose which hand. Not the brightest one, is she? Oh, shit. Uh, this... This, Lady Ash, or L Lieutenant Stryker. I think it's Stryker. Look at this. No, no ball here, no ball here, no ball here, no ball here. Eh, but Lieutenant Stryker's hands are behind her back. Let's go with Stryker. His right hand. Pick his right hand. You can't go wrong when you pick right. Oh. Oh, that's an... Oh, okay. Malcolm is left-handed, I think. So I'd pick his left hand. Oh, that wasn't even... Okay, I thought those were options. Let's go right. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the wrong choice. What you should have chosen was my foot. What? Oh, okay, you little bitch. <laughs> but you said it would be in your hand. And what is the foot if not the hand of the leg? You lost fair and square. Okay. But... <laughs> oh, and don't worry about your father. We're each quite capable at finding ways to keep him busy, making sure you have to cover for him. Okay. But... That concludes this briefing. We suggest you go back home, rest, and wake up tomorrow prepared to go to your new mundane job, which you will work at for the foreseeable future. Okay, all right. It's called being an adult. Keep an eye out for our directives in your daily guardsman writ. I trust you won't disappoint us. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let me leave. I want to leave. Wait. Here. <laughs> Child's labor. Yeah, exactly. All right. What do we have here? Oh, it's our dad. Hey, Mish. Hey, dad. Boy, what a day. Hey, Arda, pour me a cold one, will ya? <laughs> Make that two, Arda. Hey, wait a minute. You're too young to be drinking cold ones. Make hers a milk, please, Art. <laughs> Can it at least be cold? That depends. How did work go today? Guys, do you like to drink your milk cold or warm? I used to drink my milk warm when I was a kid, but nowadays I think I just like cold milk. Did better than a two-star rating, I can tell you that. How was... what were you doing again? The bidding Both the cold, cold, a lot of colds, huh? Okay. <laughs> Do you think 
it's normal that the big names and faces of this city are using us for their own personal and political gain? After today, I don't know what's normal anymore. Well, you know, I think it really depends on what we're doing. Bed. There's what? still stuff to do. Oh, There's is there? someone waiting for you in the back alley. Garcy Blinkers, Gerby Bonbons. Gerby Bonbons? Anyways, just through that door over there. Okay. Oh, that guy. Oopsie. <gasps> he got a hat! Oh my god! Wait! Yes! Oh my god, he got a hat! That's a sick hat. Hey, we have extra of the daily special today. Eggs and oil and lemon. Do you and your dad want to take it? No, we're not going to take it. <laughs> oh my god. This hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. Ah, uh, it's all right, man. That hat is class. Uh, hey. Sorry, man. I I couldn't deny that person. Aha! There she is, the brilliant little half pint running the desk. Yeah. I trust you refused entry to the envoy from the Marvog Empire like we talked about? If you did, I have the gold I promised you right here. Ooh, I could lie to him. Ooh, I don't know. I think there will be, um... There will be consequences if I lie to him. But I could get money. For free. Hmm. <sighs> Truth? Hmm, okay. I let them in, sure. No, I totally let them in. What? Why? I thought we had a deal. No, you thought you could bribe a guardian of the free peoples of the sprawl, which is a very serious offense. Ooh. All right, let's give him a warning, all right? Please give him a warning. Please forgive me, incorruptible and honest steward of the kingdom. I beg you, forgive. All right, stop groveling. Now don't let me catch you around here again, you hear? I hear. I hear. You are truly worthy and filled with honesty from the core. You have an air of trust within us that permeates. Thank, Thank you, Yapper. You. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. Alright. Let's go to the back alley. Th that's Garby Bunches! Well, you came. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a nice Welcome story you have. Welcome to Bunches and Borium of Wonder. You're my very first customer. You know what? Let's be supportive. He's a nice guy. I was actually inspired by watching you alternately help and hinder folks at the gate yesterday. And I thought, Garby, there must be an industry of enterprising individuals supporting the guards. And when I looked around, there wasn't. So I met a mage who's got a magic crystal hookup. And now I'm selling Guardsman Tool Power-Ups. Ooh. If you've got the cash, I can sell you extra power crystals. Both the good kind and the cheap roll the dice and see what happens kind. As <laughs> well as power-ups for all of your tools. Okay. It's pricey, but the more crystals you can load into those bad boys, the better. Finally, if you need cash, you can sell me anything you might have taken off of unsuspecting suckers. Here, take a look. Oh, okay. I see. We got 60. We could sell these pictures. Wow, the trumpet is only like $10? Really? Oh, the hat. The head, I mean. um, Purchase an additional power-up crystal slot. Oh, okay. I see. Um, let's sell the gold and the pictures. I don't know if I will, if I want to sell the head. If I sell the head and that person comes back, she'll kill me. <laughs> okay, so which one of these are we going to use the most? I think I want to get a slot for the truth spray and 
probably either decoder ring or metal detector. What do you think? Hmm. We ain't selling the hat. Okay, yep. Yeah. That hat is way too cheap. <laughs> X-ray, decoder ring, metal rod. Metal rod? Okay, let's go with the ring. And uh, I'll keep the rest. Thank you, Garby. Back for more? No. No, 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 I'm not. Goodbye, Garby Bunches. Oh, what is this? That cannot be safe. Lil could fall into the sewers if she could walk to that part of the screen. <laughs> yeah, if she could walk. Garbage. The smells coming out of that dumpster. Indescribable. Alright. It's time to go to sleep. Is that an ocarina? Yeah, I saw that too. I also saw like the little shield of that one guy. Who had like plastic armor. Alright. I think I've done everything I need to do. But are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? I mean... Quiet, you. Think so. Yeah, let's hit the hay. The smell of opportunities. You're so right. Uh, Seamus Goblin did a commendable job painting the dungeon walls. Although humble, he really is quite skilled. He never let a drop hit the floor, and he did all the edges without using tape. Really high quality work. It brought a much needed breath of life into a room where some people wait for execution. Seamus went home with his hard earned paycheck in one hand and a bouquet of flowers for his wife in the other. He put his six goblin children to bed, swept his wife, wife off of her fee, feet and took her to their room. Their seventh child, Becky McGoblin, is due sometime in sp Oh damn! God damn! Without his bugle, a oh, bugle, sorry, bugle, um, the Petrardian envoy managed to make a favorable impression on the princess, the advisors, and the rest of the court. Uh, the advisors and the rest of the court. He lost them all though when he tried to make bugle sounds with his mouth. <laughs> that night, lying in his bed in the chambers provided for visiting dignitaries, he felt vexed to that lowly guardsman and. Uh, that the lowly guardsman had refused his generous offer of a bribe. The nerve of some people. Signor Capello Fantastico. Signor Capello Fantastico entered the sprawl and began his quest for the, um, for the perfect hat. He ventured to every store that sold headgear in the sprawl. Henry's hats, Linda's lids, Homer's ha haberdashery, Abadashery, the Chapeau Shack, Mind Your Millinery, uh, Hats Hats Hats, All Caps, and even Yiddle's Yarmukul Yur. But none of them had the type of hat he was searching for. But rest assured, Senor Capello Fantastico will not relent until the top of his head is restored to its former glory. Mayala. After relaying Praetor's Karkin's message to the princess, the Marve envoy walked past the National Ballad Ballet of the Sprawl's repertory com company rehearsing in the park. Seeing that the ballerinas of the Sprawl were doing things completely wrong, the Marve envoy, or Marva envoy, Mar Marvac? Marvac envoy, decided to join in to teach them a thing or two. Now the Sprawl's ballerinas are expert in first position and First degree murder! <laughs> Jesus. Since the envoy was distracted, the Praetor never got word if the princess received their message. But don't worry, they'll show up anyway. Sir Beverly. Denied entry, the fake Sir Beverly took off his fake armor and got back on his fake horse. Yes, even the horse was fake. And went home to his real hut, where he lived with his real mother and wallowed 
in his real, very real depression. Chloe. Chloe was picked up by a patrol outside of the city limits after having set fire to a hen house with a blowtorch, which sped to a number of surrounding houses, costing the treasury and reducing the city's food supply. Oopsie. All right, level three. I didn't see how many levels there are, but I think there are like news six the or seven Me, levels. Your news anchor, Manuel Mentiroso. Breaking news. Manuel Mentiroso. The chosen suitors for our beloved and newly available Princess Desdemona will be arriving today in the sprawl. Ooh. Be on the lookout for royal carriages, entourages, and attitudes. Okay. Breaking news. The Duchess of Scarborough's prized pet cat, Sprankles, has passed away at the age of 43. <gasps> Wait, a what? From the small a cat and budget which is 43? That's insane. Turn off the radio. All right. Time to go. Letter? Oh, look, another note. Lil, I'm off running an errand for L L uh, L <laughs> Lieutenant Stryker today. Apparently, she needs me to... She meets me to time how long it takes to run around the entire circumference of the sprawl. Really shouldn't have com competed in that hot dog eating contest last night. Do me a favor and go down to the Goblin Ball Arena and place a bet of 30 gold for me after work. There's an extra fiver just for you. You didn't tell me which team to bet on, but my chances can't be any worse than his usually are. That's true, it's 50-50. Next. Our work of, uh, day of work. The Royal Writ. Expect the arrival of Crown Prince Phineas of Petrarch and Praetor Cargan of the uh, Marvac Empire. Don't let your guard down, but do not re delay them unnecessarily. Ash. Today is the Goblin Ball Tri Goblin Cup semi final between our beloved Sprawl Brawlers and the Kaladar Lightning, the Bastards. There has been a BS report, Bank of the Sprawl, regarding a number of unusual transactions involving sports betting. A, remind remind uh, a reminder to the Guard Force city officials are forbidden to participate in grey market sports betting. Striker. Uh, the guards are hearing talk of increased smuggling. Be vigilant. Watch out for anything that could have a secret compartment. Trust no one. Deploy the truth spray if necessary. Striker. Okay. Alright, let's fill up those gadgets. Okay. Uh, the coder ring gets one. I don't think we need more. Then the truth spray. Let's let's put two into the truth spray. Uh, I want to get one here. Actually, let's take this away and put a 50-50 one in here. Then X-ray, and there we go. All right. Ah, uh, why not? Let's put this one in here. Back. Begin. Okay. Hi. Oh, that's the prince. Yes, it is I, little one, heir to the throne of Petrarch, here before you in the flesh. Hmm. All right. Please, no need to bow or genuflect. No need to avert your eyes, no. Although I am a crowned prince of the realm, I am a humble man. One of the people. No better even than you, tiny gatekeeper. <laughs> Okay. You'll be glad to know that the opening ceremonies of our newest royal sulfur mine were a complete success. Only four deaths, which is far fewer than the last. Does these uh, do these guys shower in flour before they go out? <laughs> Looks like it, huh? No matter, we look forward in Petrard. No sense crying over spilt. Um, well, there, there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna tease you a little bit. Oh, indeed. Why, those pathetic working class miners, best thing they could do is die anyway. Stop taking all that oxygen. <laughs> oh, 
my thoughts exactly. <laughs> <laughs> God, barf. Jesus. <clears throat> I mean, he is that guy. We sold the photo, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, let me ask Ash. I mean, she's probably gonna, gonna you know, pick on me again, but I just want to be sure. Could be an imposter, maybe. I mean, if he didn't have flour in his face, maybe. Well, is he charming? They say that he's charming. He well, has charm for a prince, I guess. Yes. I don't meet a wide range. Oh, never mind. I will see for myself. Send the prince in at once, and for goodness sake, don't talk to him. We wouldn't want you to put him off. Okay, my bad. I'm the one putting him off? Sheesh. Go right ahead, prince. And with that... It is off to face the princess and destiny. Before I go, can you spot me a fiver? I'm afraid I left my wallet in my other pants. What are you talking? You are a prince! Oh my god. You're not getting money from me. Hmm. Is it that you don't have the money or that you don't want to lend it to me? I don't have it. <laughs> not terribly surprising, lower class working type. Besides, look at this dump. I'm amazed Do you even have enough power to keep the lights on. Damn, you no, you are I'm, asking I'll me for money. Someone a bit more well healed to help me. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Goodbye, bitch. <laughs> you admitted the crown prince of Petrard, but you didn't spot him five bucks. Which is your right. Yeah. The audacity, yeah. Oh, who are you? Good day. <clears throat> I traveled up here with the convoy what was bringing Prince Phineas to the sprawl. Prince Phineas. Oh, that guy, okay. I'm not staying long. Just need a place for tonight before I head back to Petrard. Okay. Um... He doesn't... <laughs> he doesn't look like he would escort a prince. Uh, wait, wait, what did, what did the thing say? So he has a carriage, right? Um... Mm. Uh, here, the guards are hearing talk of increased smuggling. Be vigilant. Vigilant. Watch out for anything that could have a secret compartment. Trust no one. Could deploy the truth spray if necessary. Okay. Truth spray. I have been completely forthright this entire time. Oh. You really should be more trusting of people and not waste your precious crystals on nonsense like this. Damn, okay. Um All right. He's he's been trust uh like trustful, I guess. Admit. Go right ahead, sir. No, no, it's the truth spray. It's not sus. He's telling the truth. I thank you for this respite for the evening. I'm certainly glad I don't have to head all the way back to Petrard tonight. Yeah. By the way, do you know of a good inn nearby? Yeah, I do. No better place than the Twisted Sisters Tavern. Not a classic beauty, but she'll get you where you need to go. Yeah. My kind of establishment. I'll see you there. All right. See you later. It was something I missed, but yeah. Uh, there are a lot of things falling apart in the sprawl, and your pleasant report, that uh, rapper, may lead to him fix fixing a thing or two for you. Oh! Hey, that's that's great! <laughs> Good thing we let him in. Sprinkles. <laughs> what the? A small group of black-clad folk approached the shed, weeping and moaning. Oh, what the? Oh, boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Okay. <laughs> oh, Sprinkles. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, what do you want? Tell me. We are returning from the funeral services for Sprinkles. Oh, the cat? Oh, no! 
The service was held in the Duchy of Scarborough, but the um, remains are being interred at St. Euphigenia's Pet Cemetery here in the Sprawl. Sprinkles loved visiting her friends at St. Euphigenia's. Euphigenia's. I'm telling you a little bit. Why is Sprinkles? Oh no! Okay. Why is you know who being laid to rest here? We do not have a pet cemetery suitable for such an entry in the Duchy of Scarborough. What exactly is a duchy? It is a parcel of land under the purview of a duke. <laughs> They're con duchess. artists, yeah. Scarborough is the duchy controlled by her grace, the Duchess of Scarborough. Present. And it is a far nicer duchy than some. For instance, the Duchy of Caladar. Caladar. <laughs> but the shade. <laughs> uh, Caladar. What a dump. Damn. Okay, uh, let me... Uh, are we using a metal detector, x-ray, or a truth ray? I, I want to use the truth ray, because um, I feel like they're smuggling something. Um, hmm. Ah, <sighs> x-ray? Alright, let's see. There is something in here. Hey. What's oh. this then? That's dust. Of course it is. There's a corpse in there after all. No, pixie dust. It's an illegal narcotic used by layabouts and no goodniks. What on earth is it doing inside Sprankles? I confess. I've been holding this inside for too long. I was approached by a weird guy who tricked me into smuggling illegal pixie dust into the sprawl for him. He was holding the ball in his foot. Who does that? Oh my god. I'm guilty, Your Honor. On the grounds of I did it. I'm not a judge, you know. Yeah, I'm oh. not. But I'll leave it to the courts to deal with this. The rest of you, uh, pack up your dead cat and be on your way. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You know what? The cat guys can go, but that one guy... Sent to the core! Alright. Have fun burying your cat. We shall. We shall. Sprinkles will be so happy it said you for Janias. I just know it. <laughs> thank you, my dear. Sprinkles thanks you. Oh, good. I admitted them because the cat That's was real, but that one guy was success. sus. Yeah. Wait, we were missing something. Oh my god. Okay, I guess. It's all right. We have not admitted someone wrongly so far. Oh, what the? Phew, I made it. Listen, I gotta get in there. The whole team came through a while ago and the game is about to start. We all good? And what you, you are? You're kidding, right? Come on, I'm Saruna Goodfoot, the Star Troll Goblin Ball player for the Kaladar Lightning. Kaladar Lightning? I don't have time for games right now. I gotta get to the stadium and win us a game. Oh, I see how we can affect this. So we could like deny her and then uh you know bet on the on our team, right? It says um here. Today is the Goblin Ball Tri Goblin uh, Cup semifinal between our uh beloved Sprawl Brawlers and the Kaladar Lightning. Ooh, if I call Ash on this If I'd call Ash on this she said she'd probably say deny. I'll, I'll let's see, let's see. Oh yes, Saruna. I heard she was running late for the game. Something about an unfortunate detour at the last minute. Such a shame. Because if a team doesn't win today, then I won't have to owe the mayor of Kaladar five barrels of fine sprawly and mulled wine. Ooh. Do me a favor. Keep her busy until the game is over, will you? <laughs> Ooh, should we do it? <laughs> Here, you can have this. 
Oh. Can I not? Okay. Um. I mean, you are tall, lady. You are tall. <laughs> Denied! <laughs> oh no, she's gonna be so mad. You can't be serious! You're actually not gonna let me in? This is some stupid plan to get your team to win? Cause that is low, little girl. Whatever. Maybe I can try to make it to another gate before the game starts. They don't call me the fastest arm in the game because I run slow. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Yay! Three stars. This is so evil? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, what the? Greetings. I am Praetor Kargan of the Marvog Empire. I believe you met my envoy, the angry warrior with the head in the bag. She would have come okay. by this gate to announce my arrival. I demand you let me pass immediately. Quapla. Quapla. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna use a truth spray on you. Nope! Oh my god. Oh man. Well. I, I'm gonna, like, uh, you can talk, Why do you like. You me with questions. I am a very important royal figure, and I must enter your <laughs> city to meet your princess. Press and marry X to her. doubt. Now let me be gone, child. Quack black. Quack black. <laughs> Just a few more routine procedures. You understand. Please hurry. I do not like to be kept waiting. I thought they might like bring some similar uh, imposters. Not like this. <laughs> Goodbye, lady. But I am the prattler. Oh my god. Hello? What on earth are you doing? Since when are you exercising independent thought? I don't care what your opinion of them is. If they're the real Praetor Kargan, then let them through at once. Is that clear? They're not... Deny. Go out. Leave immediately. You've made a powerful enemy today, little girl. You'll soon feel the wrath of an entire empire. Kaplort and goodbye. Kaplort. <laughs> you saw through the old fake Praetor. R uh, routine from a mile away. What does she think you are? Someone who can't see through the old fake Praetor routine? Psh, amateur. Not the feather duster on her hair. Yeah, exactly. Oh! Little warrior, I am weary after a long journey, and I am not used to being made to wait in a lineup. She has muscles! Let me pass on my way. I must rest before I meet your princess in order to win her hand and bring honor to my people. Okay. This seems more legit. This may seem like a strange request, but would you mind saying your famous battle cry for me? <laughs> you mean Kapla! Kapla! That's the one. I would hope that my stunning war cry is sufficient to being granted entry immediately. Yes, you are right. You get to enter. Okay, chat, calm down. Calm down. I let her in already, alright? And thus I truly begin my quest to marry Princess Desdemona and bring a generation of prosperity to the Marvog Empire. You little warrior will have a footnote in history for this encounter for victory for marvog kapla kapla <laughs> yay after the imposter it was very clear this visiting dignitary was on the level exemplary job granting them immediate entry no one could accuse you of unnecessarily delaying anyone yep go right ahead that's it for today. Kapla! Oh, three and a half, not bad. Due to your good job performance, 3.5, you were paid 20 gold for this shift. Thank you. 
Okay. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, where to go? Ooh, we have three options. The Goblin Ball, uh, Ball Stadium, Twisted Sister's Tavern, and Garby's Shop. Uh, I think we have to go bet, right? Let's go bet real quick. Bet on our own team, because we, de uh, <laughs> we uh, denied that one player, their star player. Okay. <gasps> oh my god! Hey, dude! Wait. What's up, my guy? It is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. Ah, it's all right, man. It's all right. That's a good hat. Hey. Hello. Thank you for coming to my booth today. I'm here <laughs> taking a poll on what the new name for the stadium should be. Oh, okay. What's wrong with the Goblin Ball Stadium? It's a little on the nose. <clears throat> The owners want a little more pizzazz in the title, and you don't get pizzazz without taking polls, or polls as I call it. Care to give your opinion? Sure. Actually, I've really got to be... Oh. Great. What one word would you use to describe Goblin Ball? Uh, exciting, boring, I don't know. Let's go with exciting. Perfect. And the stadium, you would say it's a... Uh, uh, it's a... Uh, Coliseum. Excellent. And finally, you come to the stadium mostly for... For overpriced food. Okay, that is super. Your input will be tied with the others. Thank you very <laughs> much for your time today. Oh, we you can't see? Oh, okay. Wait, let me show you. There you go. He has like a little cowboy hat. Yeah. Yes, sir. Looking sharp. Okay. Hey, guy. Want to sell me popcorn? Concessions, come and get them. We got it all. T-shirts, hats, food, drink, illegal gambling, commemorative fun <laughs> You there. What can I get for you today? Did you say illegal gambling? I sure did. You interested? Yes, I am. I'm 12. Hey, it's illegal anyways. What's the difference? You want to bet on who's going to win the big game? <laughs> That's actually true, though. <laughs> I can't be any worse at this than my dad. So sure, why not? All right. Here are the teams at play, kiddo. Which one do you want to hear about? Let's, uh, Sprawl Brawlers. The home team hasn't been doing too well at home lately. A lot of people are still angry at him after that game with the foul and the points got reinstated. Mm hmm They're more of an away team, but they're a shoe in to win today. If the other team didn't have that ringer Saruna Goodfoot playing for them, you sure you want to bet on them? Hell yeah! Yes! What you looking to gamble? Uh... What did our dad say? Did he say 50? I think we have pretty good chances of winning, so go with a 50. Are you sure? Yes. All right, kid. Your bet is in. Good luck. Let's go. Let's watch some goblin ball. Yeah, let's watch him. What After the? one of the most chaotic third quarters I've ever seen, complete with a rare capture What the hell is this? Mongoose, this is still anybody's game. But without Kalidar star player Saruna Goodfoot, the Sprawl Brawlers are looking good. Hell yeah! Jorbala Pepstein has taken possession of the wagon wheel, and she hurls it, and it's passed through the flaming gates. Yes! That's the game, folks. A stunning victory for the hometown heroes, and you better believe the Kalidar Lightning are wondering where the hell their star player Saruna was today. What a great day of Goblin Ball, folks. Yes! We did it! We got money, guys! Oh my god. Lucky guess, kid. Come back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Just ask for Fredo. Okay, thank you. Let's leave. What the? Oh, okay. There we go. It lagged for a second. This is foul? No. No, it's not. Uh, let's, go let's go to Garby's shop. Garby bunches. Hey. Let me see what you got. Anything new today? Can I sell something? Well, if it isn't my favorite pint-sized Lil Guardsman Lil. 
You just missed the guards from down at the east gate. No. Oh. They almost cleaned me out. But I promise I saved a few goodies just in case you happened by. Thank you. Congratulations. Gee, thanks. Take a look. Okay. Uh, let's buy some... Oh, wait. Actually, I want to buy some slots. So... X-ray was pretty useful. Let's go with the metal detector now, and... Yeah. That, that seems fine to me. Let's go. All of the sabotaging paid off. Yes! Oh, hey! It's that guy. What's up, buddy? If it isn't my little gate guard friend. Of all the taverns and all the towns and all the world. Yeah, I yeah, recommended you yeah. this place. <laughs> Hello again, Mr. Dwarf. This jukebox doesn't work. Nope, it doesn't. Yeah, it's been broken for ages. Looks like the cables have been chewed right through. <gasps> He's gonna fix rats. it? Yuck. Rats? Not a classic beauty. Natural erosion. She ain't a classic beauty. You can say that again. Anyway, I can fix that for you. That would be wonderful. For a price. Oh. Crap. Okay, how much are we talking about here? Hmm. Fifteen gold should do it. Okay. Sure, why not? Go ahead. All right, it's a deal. We Pretty. have the money. See, that's the wonderful thing about knowing how to fix things. Never goes out of style. Not like those bloody mages. <laughs> how long is this gonna take? Listen, lady. Patience is a virtue. Okay. So, like, a day? Oh! <gasps> there you go. That should give the old girl a few more years. Let's go! Dwarf. Thank mention. you. Now, leave me to enjoy my ale. Okay. Wait, let me check the jukebox out. that's better. Hell yeah. Oh! What do we have? Okay. All right. Garvey's kicking it jam. Winner Gacknit. Oh, okay. Ooh. I think I liked, um, this one. Yeah. Oh, hey, little buddy. I did it. I quit my job as lackey to that awful man. And when I mentioned it to someone at the bus stop, they gave me a sock. And I have no idea why. Uh, I get this reference. Guys, I know this reference. <laughs> Oh my god, I know this reference. Do you guys know this reference? Dobby finally free, exactly. <laughs> Just one sock, not even the pair. What am I supposed to do with one sock? <laughs> oh, I made a terrible mistake. It's alright. You are free. What is this? I don't really have anywhere to... Oh, okay. I think I've done everything I need to do. But are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? Yep. Hit the hay. Upon entering Sprawl, uh, the Sprawl, Prince Phineas presented himself at the at court to the princess. But because he, you didn't lend him a fiver, he was not able to double in double it in a game of beer pong at the bas basilisk club which he could have been tripled participating in a leaky downsprout arm wrestling tournament maybe it's for the best dwarven Trink tinkerer the dwarven tinkerer left his interaction with lil the guardsman with a spring in his step the connection you made in a time of increasing intolerance towards non-human humes 
made him think that perhaps rumors of bigotry in the sprawl had been greatly exaggerated. Unfortunately, just before, uh, before heading up to bed in his room at the, at the end, he took in the night he took in the night air and chanced, chanced upon a group of young men's leaving social club for the sons of noble clubhouses. Um, they were able to overpower him and stuff him into a garbage can. He was found the next morning without his recently discovered faith in humanity. Oh shit. <laughs> Duchy, Duchy of Scar Scarbra. <clears throat> the Duchess of Scarbra. Scarbra. Scarbra? Scarbra. Her valet and their entourage made it to St. Euphigenia. Uh, what? Yeah, whatever. Just in time for the solemn event in of Sprankle's funeral. Jesus Christ, I can't read. Holy. Um. There was not a dry eye in the house, nor a dry crotch, when it came to the cats in attendance who com commemorated, commemorated the event by cleaning themselves through the Duchess' moving eulogy. eulogy. <laughs> the smuggler was apprehended and promptly sent to the dungeon. Unfortunately, he escaped sometime between midnight and 2am with the help of his mysterious contact on the inside whose office happened to be just down the hall from that particular cell. Oh, it was Malcolm! The Kalidar Lightning was confused by the absence of the star player, although it was a relief to play a game without the fear of being accidentally assaulted by their overenthusiastic troll teammate. <laughs> they found Saruna wandering the fields outside of the sprawl, trying to make her... Mike, blah, 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 make her way back to Kalidar the next morning. Kalidar's keeper of the golden mongoose, mongoose uh, tried to console her and was promptly accidentally assaulted. Accidentally. Praetor Kargan. The fake Praetor that you very wisely turned away took their shtick on the road and was eventually picked up by Marvag authorities for impersonating their beloved Praetor. She was later sentenced to perform in the next ballet loving, lovingly called the Nutcracker. Praetor Cargan. Because of uh, because she was admitted at the gate without any hindrance whatsoever, the Praetor had a few extra minutes on her hands before she met, needed to present herself at the palace. She had just the best time. She met a good dog who she patted. Aw, oh, nice. She kicked a football around with a couple of only slightly filthy ragamuffins on the Westphalian green. She made an extremely clean cut as she dismembered the left arm of a mugger who attempted to take her coin purse. Oh my god. All in all, it was one of the most relaxing afternoon in recent memory for her, and she was refreshed and rejuvenated by the time she made it to court where she dazzled those in attendance. Okay. Let's go level 4. I don't know if I can finish everything today, because I don't know how many levels there are. But we'll see. You're listening to the number one sports station in the sprawl. Now here's Gavin Bout Goblin Ball. Gavin Bout Goblin Ball. <laughs> Oh, Rhonda, what about the outcome of last night's game, the Brawlers and the Lightning? Oh, Pig, you don't want to get me started on that. But I do. First, the big news. They finally decided on the new name for the Goblin Ball Stadium. After months of in-person and in-creature polling, the most popular name as voted by the Sprawl appears to be... The Exciting Coliseum for Overpriced <laughs> Oh my god. I hate it. <laughs> We're split down the middle. Let us know what you think by calling the station at 555-21. Okay. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you an urgent announcement. It has just been reported that Princess Desdemona, the sole heir of late King Oswin and sovereign successor to the throne, has been reported missing early <gasps> this morning. In the wake of her mysterious disappearance, the Guard Corps and City Council are scrambling to maintain order over the city. Oh no! The Princess! 
No note this time. All right. Let's leave. Whoa, someone's in a rush. Where are you headed to, my little rocket? Sorry, sir, can't talk. Gotta go down to the guard shed to work for my... Wait a minute. Wait. Dad? Oh. What are you doing here? I thought you'd be running errands for Stryker or Malcolm or whoever. Do you have the day off? I wish. Since Princess Desdemona went missing, Councilwoman Ash is really cracking the whip. She's got me pulling double duty, doing her little odd jobs and tasks. She's Ooh. acting like she runs the place. I mean, she kind of is running the place. <laughs> then what are you doing here? I missed you. I guess I just wanted to come check in. Don't Aww. worry. Nobody knows that your daughter is covering for you at work. <laughs> it's not about that. I mean, that's great and all, but are you holding up okay? I am. I'm fine. Really? Are you sure? Because I could... No, that's okay. I think I got it. Even the times when you... Yeah, those parts too. <laughs> oh, okay. You're just saying all this because the princess is missing and you're feeling all sentimental. All right, all right, I'll stop. I'm just happy to see you're here. Not for long. I'm due down at the shed. And I'm <laughs> off to take down any goblin-friendly signage and pro-non-human literature across the sprawl. Not sure why, but then again, mine is not to ask, just to do as I'm told. Yep. We are so alike in so many ways. Exactly. So long. See you at the tavern if I get off in time. Okay. See ya, Dad. See ya. Oh, that's so... Oh my god, that's so cute. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, hey, Lieutenant. Attention. Oh god, is this it? Did I pull a real Randy and mess up so badly you had to come down here yourself and fire me? Huh? Soldier, it's nothing like that. You did Soldier. not pull a Randy. Thank god. <laughs> I'm here to personally approve the upgrade of the Wicked 3000. An upgrade? Sorry, I was drinking water. <laughs> the princess missing and between you and me, the council's increased paranoia. The jail lever has been reinstated. Yes! Oh, we can jail people now! You can get back in your chair now. Okay. Another lever means more work for me. Does that mean I get a pay raise? That's hilarious. Seriously, <laughs> <good> stuff. <laughs> uh, no, but now instead of determining who should enter or be denied from the sprawl, you also must correctly identify criminal threats and jail them. Any questions? No. No, no questions. Very good. You've received your briefing. Now do your duty. Okay. Yes, ma'am. The Royal Writ. Due to the sudden and unexplained absence of the princess, visitors should be thoroughly vetted and harassed. I mean, questions. <laughs> Questioned. <laughs> and don't be afraid to use that delicious new jail lever, Striker. Striker. Sorry. <laughs> the city's moral has hit an all-time low today. Anyone who, from... Uh, anyone from the entertainment sector should be bumped to the front of the line. We are in we are institute wait what we are in instituting sorry a severe cut back of non-human entrance of the sprawl to the sprawl. Secondhand intelligence suggests that a goblin was behind the princess disappearance. Therefore, we are issuing a blanket no goblins allowed policy this week. In fact, I'll pay I'll pay 12 gold for every goblin I see in the dungeon by the end of your shift. Ash. Okay, so we have to jail every goblin. Be on the lookout for would-be heroes and vigilantes waiting uh, wanting to offer their assistance in search and rescue efforts for the princess. The High Council of the Sprawl have their own plan to ensure the princess safe, princess's safe return. <clears throat> uh, this princess thing. People are going nuts. Have you heard about that crazy no goblins allowed policy? Let's dial that back to a more comfortable one goblin allowed. At the very least, I'll, it'll buck Councilwoman Ash. Okay, one goblin. Let's find the best goblin. Okay, the nicest goblin. Let him in. Everything- everyone else gets jailed. Yeah. Okay. Uh... 
Wait. Oh, I didn't know. Oh my god. Oh shit. We lose the crystals that we don't use from the previous day? I didn't know. Okay, let's be a little bit more um careful with those then. Um Hello? What? What you Hello? Can I only enter four? Oh shit. Well, we can oh. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Luckface. I am a farmer from Firewall Canyon, a quaint little town just on the other side of the scroll. What the fuck? <laughs> What? I am coming into town today to sell produce I have grown with my own two hands from land that was left to me by my great goblin uncle in his will. His dying wish was that I restore the family farm to its former glory. At least, I think that is what it says. He did not have the best handwriting. Sorry, did you say your name was Budface? Yes, yes, I did. It is certainly not what I would have chosen to fill a characters. <laughs> I would have liked Spencer One or even Quincy Hart. But you cannot choose your own name, am I right? <laughs> I mean, the coda ring, right? Because, um, there was something Do about it. Do you have it. a copy of your great goblin uncle's poorly handwritten will on you? Of course. But good luck reading it. Okay. Ting, ting, ting. Bam. It says here. And for my very unique. Oh my god. There may come an hour when you feel smooshed by the slog of the rat race. Well, whatever you do, do not drop everything and take over the family farm. That place is a hopeless salt ridden rock pile that led me to my early grave. I have enclosed the deed so you can offload it on some other sucker. <laughs> and remember, do not become a farmer. Love, Great Goblin Uncle Jerry. So I am not actually <laughs> a bad farmer. It is a land that is lousy. This has validated me in ways I never imagined. <laughs> Glad I could help. Shit, do we jail those? Uh, I, I, I kind of just want to deny him. Because he has no purpose in here anymore. Um... But if we jail him, we get 12 gold. Maybe just deny? Sure. You're not a bad guy. You're not a bad guy. I'll just deny you. You, you don't have a purpose here. <laughs> Sorry. I'm under strict rules not to let in goblins today. Access denied. Access denied. This is an outrage. Where will I sell my low quality crops now? Everyone in Firewall Canyon is sick of them. <laughs> I do not eat them myself, they do not look the best. And everyone at home literally gets sick from them. Any chance I could bribe you with some kale and celery? I think I'm better off without it. Yeah. Sorry Great Goblin Uncle Jerry, looks like the family farm will have to make way for another condominium. Yes. That is your problem. He turned away a puny pixelated produce pusher on, on no goblin day. Good job. Thank you. Why was he pixelated? That was so random. Next up. <clears throat> Magic lovers of the sprawl. Please put your hands together for the one, the only, the Edward, the great magician. Alakazoo, Alakazee. Alakazam. And I appear. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wait a second, this doesn't look like a little kid's birthday party. Oh wait, there's one! Excuse me, are you Becky Schneiderman? Is this your birthday party? No. I'm sitting in a hot shed all alone. Which, you know, isn't actually as bad as some of the birthdays I've had. <laughs> then I'm in the right spot! Can't believe I found my way here, especially without my glasses. <laughs> wait, what was this about? Um. Hmm. Oh, he's an entertainer, right? 
bump to the front of the line. So we should let them in, right? So, Becky the birthday girl, sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed by me, the Edward the Great. The Edward Wait, the but Great. I'm not. Actually, I want to see where this is going. Now, for my first trick, please pick a number between one and seven. Seven. Was the number that you're thinking of the number six? <laughs> nope. What else do you do? Oh my god. He's so bad. Uh, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> this guy is just... I don't know. He's just hilarious. I, what do you want me to do? Should I use the metal detector on him? I mean... <laughs> maybe, maybe he's sus? Not even a clown? <laughs> he tried. I mean, he's an entertainer. I, I just let him in, I guess. Yeah. I think it's funny. Go ahead, man. Ever since I pulled a bouquet of flowers from my parents' garden shop out of my sleeve, I knew I wanted to be a magician, and you're making this dream come true for me. Yeah, go now, on. I just need to figure out how to get there without being able to read the street signs. <laughs> Alakazoo, Alakazee, I'm going to be very late. <laughs> I hope that was the right call. Ooh, two stars. Well, uh, I couldn't have helped him, right? Do I have glasses? I don't- I don't have glasses. Hello! Ooh, what the fuck? Hello. Okay. Hello! Hi. Hi. Hello! We would like to enter. I- I- I would like to enter this <laughs> hall, please! And you are... Magnus the Magnificent! Renowned member of the Magies Guild! Magies! Surely you have heard of me! Well, uh, let's just call Ash on that one, okay? We have been aggressively branding the Sprawl to the international wizarding community for years. How wonderful that this Magnus the Magnificent wishes to peruse our library's collection. Are you serious? Please pass along my regards. <sighs> it's time for the truth spray. I think it's jail time, but yeah, let's use this. Under this robe, which disguises us so completely as Magnus the Magnificent, we're just a couple of goblins trying to get into the sprawl. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you saying this? Then maybe when we're in, see a couple other gobbos to talk about what's going on in this city for folks like us. Did you get sprayed with something? Stop talking, you idiot! <laughs> what is this? What just happened? I think I just foiled your brilliant disguise. Yeah. Oh my god. You got us. We're goblins through and through. We're meeting up with a couple other gobbos to talk about what's going on in this city for folks like us. What does that mean? The princess goes missing and all of a sudden there's a no goblin order in the sprawl? What's that about? Maybe a goblin kidnapped the princess? I'd like to see the proof of that. Well... I think that was pretty illegal. Jail! Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm not gonna get punished for letting two rebel goblins in on no goblin day. It's straight to jail for you. Oh no, please don't do this. We just wanted to see some friends. You're blowing uh. this way out of proportion. Forget it, Gary. We're just a couple goblins in a human world. We're sorry. Uh. We're sorry. Oh, sh We're boned. Oh man, now I feel kind of bad. Uh. Oh, we get 24 gold. That's crazy. Ah, uh, now I feel bad. 
But hey, four stars! Right? <laughs> Hello! Oh, that's a wizard. Salutations to what you, the? little sister of this big, beautiful world. My um, journeys across this land have brought me here to your doors. Okay. What a sweet fortune have in store for me today? That I do not know. But it's a hell of a ride, let me tell you. Um, I, I think your, your eyes are a little uh, red. Where have you journeyed here from? You really want to know? Yeah, tell me. Oh, I've been around for a spell, always on the move. From the mountains north of Petrad, the Great Desert in the south of Marvog, along the crystal shores of Lake Inez, past the dread Castle Kaladar, and the quaint farmlands of Fireball Canyon. Huh. I've wandered through all of these many, many times, but for my money, there's no place like the sprawl. People everywhere you look leading their busy lives. Okay. Every once in a while, stop to take in how beautiful it all is. You can't buy that, little sister. Um, sure. You seem like a very easygoing dude. <laughs> well, my little dudette, life's been pretty good to me. Do that. Not as if someone <laughs> peed on my rug. Is that a common expression? It is where I come from. Okay. Um, well... I don't know. Let's call a uh, striker or he looks like a wizard. Let's call Ash. Oh, this hippie has been a thorn in my side for years. Don't buy any of his mystical wanderer hogwash. <laughs> He's just a sad vagabond without any sense of purpose. Do what you want with him, but don't believe his lies. Oh. Back when I knew Ash, she was already bitter, jaded, and afraid of anything she didn't understand. A true protectionist, looking to keep everyone in their own little box. If she had her way, nothing would ever change or grow, and eventually we would all look, dress, and think exactly the same way. Hmm. I want to call... Let's call Malcolm. He has a hat, so let's call Malcolm. <laughs> well, 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 if it isn't my old friend Echo. Echo? Echo! Ha <laughs> ha, he's still got it. He hasn't still got it. He lost it years ago. Don't let him in here. Once he gets in, he'll never leave. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, that Echo. What a great guy. Not great, lousy. Toss him. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what Malcolm's end goal is, and honestly, I don't think he knows either. I think if he had his way, there'd be no rules, no laws, no little guardsmen at the gate. Just let the whole place run itself. This dog eat dog mentality would work for some, and for others, things could get a whole lot worse. He doesn't care about people. Doesn't care if they're good or bad. Our greatest strength is how we work together. Under <laughs> Malcolm, we would never reach anything near our collective potential. Okay. I see where this is going. Um, I think I'll deny you. <laughs> Two of my ambassador, like not ambassador, my um... My colleagues said I'm a leaf in the wind, that sister, um I shouldn't let you in. A gentle breeze guided me along my way. Yes, sir. And there it is. I've reached my limit with you. Right you are. Hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista. I'd let him in. Of course you would. Based on his reactions, he seemed fine with your decision. Okay. It was only three out of four stars, so I guess I could have, like, done something. Lil, you've got to close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. Okay, my guy. What's happening? By now you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? Yeah, I have. Yes. Good. Any other week the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. Okay. But with the mucky mucks from Petrard and Marvog in town, we have to get her back before things around here get any worse. All right. 
I hope nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said, why the hell would they need that piece of, you know? Whoa! Important now. <laughs> do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. Okay. We got... 3.2 Well, 3.25 Due to your good job performance, 3.25 You were paid 2 gold uh, No, sorry 20 gold for this shift Butt face <laughs> Oh, Ash Thank you so much for the super Your very first super, actually Good night, two drops and cast. Unfortunately, can't stay Hello? so long. I'm wishing everyone lots of fun. P.S. Cast, Can please grant me your pati patience as I'm playing Cuphead with friends soon. Oh, I wish you a lot of good luck with that one. Yeah, you you'll need it. But um, it's fun, so uh, have fun, okay? And thank you for the super. Uh, okay. Lilith, guardian of the Southern Gate, step forward into the light. Okay. What is this? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? Well, you have been chosen. What? To play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. That's right, it's time for... So you think you can save a princess! <laughs> what the? What the hell is going on? Same, Lil. Uh, that's right, Lil. Today you're getting the chance to send one of these lucky adventurers on the escapade of a lifetime to search for and rescue your beloved Princess Desdemona. Okay. I didn't ask to do this. Yep, I didn't. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. Adventurer number one is a hard-headed, go-getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Please welcome Neil Warkiller. Neil Warkiller. He's from Marvog. Okay. Adventurer number two is a nomad by nature, mage by profession, who Ooh. likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's Articulous Flame Hands. Articulous Flame Hands. Finally, adventurer number three. You might recognize this thief from their wanted poster. Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good. Let's hear it for Perry Shoutsin. Perry Shoutsin. I don't, I still don't fully understand what's happening. Me neither. And no heroic voyager would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the darkness. So let's welcome our sponsors, Lieutenant Striker, Councilwoman Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. Okay. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus and the day will be ours. Information is power. Ooh. Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite. <laughs> now, Lil, you're going to get the chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine their suitability for this quest. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, that's and really cool. Around. Choose the winner of the grand prize, being sent on a perilous mission to save the princess, a few guaranteed brushes with death, and a coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's, home of the soup. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Dad does love Monty's. Let's do this. Round one. All right, Lil, what would you like to ask our trio of intrepid would-be heroes? Let's see. Perfect rescue, origin story, favorite ice cream. Let's go with the perfect rescue. What's your idea of a perfect rescue? And who would you like to ask? Well, can I not ask everyone? Ask, let's start from left to right. Neil Warkiller, let's go. Let's not reinvent the wheel here. The easiest and fastest way to get the job done is simple. Smash and grab. What's simpler than that? Okay. Smack the baddies in their dumb faces, throw the princess over my shoulder, and hey, presto. Rescued. Boom. Done. Simple and effective. Not bad, not bad, not a bad answer. You can ask 
another adventurer if you like. Sure. It begins with me vaporizing a few low-level lockies on the type. Uh, then we build to a dramatic face-off as a superior villain. Hmm. Lightning flashes, mythical beasts are summoned and dispatched, all the fireworks come out. I cast a transfiguration spell, turning our would-be kidnapper into a small cricket, or a mouse, or anything really. It just has to be small, so I can keep it with me as a reminder of my awesome powers. Okay, a little, uh, you know, arrogant. I see. I didn't get to ask the last person. Okay, let's ask this one second question first. Is... Waylaid by bandits. First, perfect first date. Deal with magic users. Okay. You encounter an enemy party of magic users. One of them casts a level three magic missile spell. What do you do? And who's that one for? Let's ask um, Sher uh, Perry Shoutson. If you think a bunch of pointy hats are getting to jump on me, you got another thing coming. But okay, let's suppose some Penn and Teller wannabes do get me in their sights. Just watch these dodge skills. I'm over here now. Damn. And now I'm here. Damn. And now I'm back where I started. Blink of an eye. I'm like Nightcrawler over here. Okay, not bad. You can ask another adventurer if you like. All right, let's ask the big guy. I, I feel like um, the mage is going to just fight with magic. So, um... Let's ask the warrior. I, I want to know how he would dodge or like defend himself. Magic users, they fill me with rage. And in that berserking rage, I can shrug off any kind of missile they may throw my way. Ooh. I He's just going to tank him. First, so the coward cannot warn their coward friends. Before the rest know what has hit them, I have. Okay. I pile the bodies of the dead fools high in the air and burn them as a warning to all others who would dare get in my way. Jesus. Okay. That answer unearthed the full extent of your incompetence. I was ready to vow the child with mine. Let's stick to the format, <laughs> folks. There's a rich tradition we're preserving here. Please wait your turn. Hmm. A warrior does not wait his or her turn. He or she acts. Well, at least he's like, uh, <laughs> you know, saying he or she, his or her. <laughs> Pretty respectful. All right, Neil, calm down now. Hmm. Oh, shit. Hmm. You are gaslighting me and the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Mike Melroy. Um. Hmm. What the? Calm, calm down, guy. Uh oh, looks like the warrior has entered the heightened state of berserker mode. Oh shit! So which contestant do you think will be able to get us out of this dilly of a pickle? Perry, don't look at me. Or you can try, but I'll be out of here. Smoke bomb. What? The I am dead! Are you serious? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Mm -hmm. You are gaslighting me. Uh oh. Little witch can. Okay, Articulus, save me! Neil, uh, keep it together for just a few more seconds. You, what's your favorite animal? Um. A squirrel. Neil, look at this little fella. <laughs> <sighs> I, I, I feel the blood rage calming. I can't murder everyone present in front of something so small and perfect. I am calm. <laughs> Whew. I'm glad you didn't pick anything larger than a bread box. I'm not licensed for that. Oh. Due to that unscheduled outburst, we are a little tight for time. Lil, do we squeeze in one more round, or are you feeling ready to chew? One more round. I think I got one more round in me. Lil, what's your final question going to be? Uh, plans after we rescue, prophetic dream, favorite childhood memory. 
Plans after what are your rescue. Plans after you rescue the princess. And you're asking? Let's ask Articulus. This rescue will be incredibly high profile, and I hope to use it as a springboard to a placement on the High Council of the Mages Guild. Okay. From there, mm, the sky's the limits. Well, two four year terms followed by a lifetime pension is the limit, but still, not too shabby. All right, all right, all right. You can ask another adventurer if you like. Let's ask Perry Shelton. Are you kidding me? I make this gig and I'm set for life. Rescuing the sole heir to the whole freaking sprawl? Insta retired, baby. <laughs> I'll be sipping pina coladas on the crystal shores of Lake Inez before you can say, Would you like a curly straw for that pina colada, sir? <laughs> Ooh, I love pina coladas. They mentioned it in my introduction. <laughs> and the first round's on me. I picked his pocket earlier. <laughs> Okay. I think uh -oh. I know. You know what that means. I have no idea what that means. This is so stupid. You're stupid. Hey! That sound means it's time for the lightning round. Lightning round. Lil, please choose the adventure that you'd like to see play the lightning round. Okay, you know, okay. Neil has anger issues. Articulus underestimates his enemies. And Perry Shoutson will dip as soon as he, like, knows he can't beat him. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think I'll choose Articulus just because he has the skills to back it up. Okay, so let's All go. Alright, Articulus, are you ready for the lightning round? I am. What the? Most impressive. I felt that a little. <laughs> well deduced that I'm an elemental mage, Lil. Yep, that wasn't a random lucky guess at all. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, he has the skills to back it up. Yeah, actually. Uh-oh, you know what that sound means. I don't. I really don't. Oh, God. Not again. <laughs> that sound means we are out of time. All right, Lil. Now's your moment of truth. Who do you want to choose to rescue Princess Desdemona? Okay. We got it. Wait. What do you... Wait. My adventurer stood up to lightning. Can the others do that? I'd like to see them try. Choose wisely. <laughs> Choose my adventurer. Okay. Don't overthink this. My hero is by far the strongest and the most experienced in battle. A natural choice to save our dear princess. Okay. The thieving arts might not be as sexy as a halberd or a fistful of magic missiles, but we have no idea what's befallen the princess. And my guy is your guy. I'll go with the mage Articulus. Are you sure? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, humans and otherwise, the winner of So You Think You Can Save a Princess and proud owner of an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's Home of the Soup is Articulus Flamehands, the mage. There we go. Aha, wonderful child. Well chosen. And that's all for us here today. Please help control the pet population. Have your gargoyle spayed or neutered. So long, everybody. So long. <laughs> okay. Nice. And right. then I had to choose who the heck was going to rescue Princess Desdemona. It was <laughs> the craziest thing. And don't even get me started on the lightning round. <laughs> you have the most vivid imagination, Lil. Why doesn't anybody believe me about these things? Because <laughs> we're just a child. Wait, how did you get in? <sighs> Blink just says nothing. <sighs> oh my god, he's a pick me. He's a pick me. 
Is everything okay, Beverly? No, Lil. No, everything is not okay, Beverly. <laughs> My dear true love, Princess Desdemona. Just to recap, this is the dear true love that you've never met, but one time you both happened to be at the Goblin Ball Stadium? <laughs> you phrased that so beautifully. Yes, that same she. <laughs> what about her, Bev? When I'd heard she'd vanished, I tried to get on So You Think You Can Save a Princess, but none of the advisors wanted me as their champion. Beverly, you're a janitor at the Goblin Ball Stadium. What? Maybe you're right. Maybe a guy like me can't be the hero in my own life story. Oh, man. Mom always said I lacked that main character energy. Tell me what to do, Lil. Should I return to my job or go off to rescue my darling love? You're gonna get killed. Just go back to work, man. It's not its not that bad, you know. It's pretty alright. And we appreciate your work. Go back to work. <laughs> okay, I didn't, I didn't want to say like that rudely, but like, yeah, go back to work. <sighs> you may be right. I don't have that many more vacation days. <laughs> Listen, Bev, it's getting late. I'm gonna go. Yep, I understand. Farewell, Beverly. Farewell. I need one here. Oh! Wait, what? Hey! Pathetic, weak coward! You should do the honorable thing and let me kill you. Oh. Oh, you would just love that, wouldn't you? Uh-oh. Yes, I would. It is my understanding that you have selected a self-involved, pretentious mage as your choice of adventurer. <laughs> yes, that's right. Oh, the princess is as good as doomed. What? On behalf of the Marvog Empire, I must say you have made a terrible choice. Why? On behalf of the Kingdom of Petrard, I couldn't agree more. Mages are untrustworthy. What are you saying? And pompous. Hey! And smug. That's true. And ugly. Hey! Okay, I think we're losing the thread a little bit here. Double down. That smug, pompous mage is the right person for the job. Yeah. My concern is the safe return of Princess Desdemona. Not pleasing you. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Exactly. Oh, why I... Never. <laughs> I won't forget this. Yeah, you what shouldn't. he said. Whatever. <laughs> He's got a new hat! Yes! This hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. My journey, it continues. Oh, man. I think it looks all right on you, man. I really think so. Wait, do I have... I okay. think I've done everything I need to do. But are you sure you're ready to hit the hay? Yes, I am. Uh... Wait a second, though. Streamer mode? I don't know. Okay, um... I think we've done enough for today, and we can, uh, I think we almost, like, got to half of it, I'd say. You want to quit the game title? Un unsafe, it'll be lost. Uh, can I save it somewhere? Let's see. <gasps> what? The 12 levels? Okay, we're gonna be playing, uh, we're gonna be continuing next time, so let's just go to the main menu. Okay. Let's, um... See, select slot. We're at 34%. Yeah, we're exactly at um, one-third of the game. Yeah, it's really long, that game. That's crazy. But I, I appreciate the game so far. It's so good. So uh, let's just tone that down a little bit and go here. Oh, moving so fast. 
Wait a second, let me just uh, turn on the lights. <laughs> my my room is really dark right now. Not like uh, my... Uh, you see the room behind me? It's really well lit. <laughs> but my... Um, my uh, room that I'm in right now is not very, very well lit. So let me just turn on the lights. There we go. Okay, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Let me drink some water. No, I really enjoyed that game so far. Um, we probably need like two more streams to to like um you know, finish the game. But I think we can get through those. The game is very entertaining. I can only recommend it to you guys. And um yeah. It's it's so good. It's really so good. I really enjoy it so far. I, I think Gale is streaming or like starting to stream soon. Let me check that real quick. <clears throat> um, Ukiki's little stargazer, thank you so much for the super. Otsu, thank you so much for uh, today's streamcast. Hope you have a great day and rest up well. I hope you have a great day as well. Um, and thank you so much for the soup. I really appreciate it. Yes, he is streaming right now. Okay, so let me just copy the link and I will redirect you all to Gale. But yeah, you know, um, tomorrow... Let me just check real quick. Tomorrow we'll be playing Minecraft um, for the more American you know, viewership. Because uh, it's gonna be at around... Um, I think we start at 2 p.m. Yeah. 2 p.m. EST, 11 a.m. PST. So... Ooh. Okay. Yes, Minecraft. Uh, we'll probably be playing with Gale. So um, we will continue in the nether and... Um, Explore the bastion that we found, which is like right next to our uh, portal. But I'm really excited for that. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me just edit the thing real quick. Uh, customization. Redirect. Here. There we go. Save. Lucy will join. Uh, Lucy's playing a little after. So uh, probably not... Though I, I, I don't know. Maybe he will join. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Like I said, 2 p.m. Uh, EST, 11 a.m. PST, and I believe 4 a.m. JST? Should be it, yeah. But thank you so much for watching, and I will redirect you to uh, Gale. Let's, let's make like a, like a message. Maybe like... Um, I don't know. <laughs> cast rate. Just say cast rate and then a, a green heart, okay? Cast rate, green heart. Let me just write it down for you. There you go. Cast rate and... Oh, what the hell is this? What the... I just copied a green heart. Okay, whatever. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. I will see you guys tomorrow. We play Minecraft. And I wish y'all uh, a very nice Gale stream. And a very nice rest of your day. Bye-bye. Cass out.